tangle in the eagle's nest. Hello, everyone. Dick Enberg with Bob Trumpy. Headline news, if even put Bill Clinton down on the front page of the Enquirer on Tuesday. Headlines again today. Cunningham sits down. Jim McMahon takes over at quarterback. And, you know, Dick, when we talk to the Philadelphia Eagles, they bring up a lot of names, names of guys who are not here. Buddy Ryan mentioned Keith Jackson. It's on the mind of the Eagles. Andre Waters, the great safety, out with a broken leg. And this team never stops talking about the memory of Jerome Brown. Cunningham, it is promised, will start against Green Bay next week. McMahon gets the call today. Art Shell, the Raider coach, knows all about benching quarterbacks. Jay Schrader had the game of his life, the best ever by the Raiders on the road earlier this year. Next game, he's on the bench. He hands it over to the kid, Todd Marinovich, a college senior by age. He's going to need a lot of help from the running game because I'm telling you, Dick, this Philadelphia Eagle defense preys on young quarterbacks. Marinovich wearing that familiar number 12. The Southpaw Ken Stabler carried so magnificently in Raider lore. Ruzek tees it up, and the Raiders will have a chance on offense first. Some of the Raiders, Bob, actually thought there was an insult that McMahon was starting not cutting him. Yeah, you know, Dick, when uh, I think Ronnie Lott made that comment to us, I got the feeling that he's looking for inspiration in this football game. Uh, they've won three of their last four, but any little thing that a great player like Ronnie Lott can put in his mind as an inspiration against the Philadelphia Eagles or any other opponent, it helps, but I don't think it's true. Rich Kotite, even with all the mystique about the quarterback this week in Philadelphia, said, I heard that Jay Schrader is going to start, <laughs> not Marinovich, as if we could confirm that. He said, I have a reliable source. Even coaches do. And here we go. The Eagles hungry for a win. The Raiders trying to get to four and four. Napoleon McCallum at the eight. And the former Navy star to the 27. Renovich brings on the Raider offense. Low scoring and the passing game has not been very productive. Rich Kotite will counter with his tough defense. Uh, stingiest along with Pittsburgh, number one in the league. Wilkerson, Wisniewski, Mosbar, Pete, McElroy, the big offensive line. Max Mantoy is healthy, but will not start. He is in uniform for the Raiders. Marinovich has Smith and Eric Dickerson, number two all-time. Golden Brown outside. Ethan Horton, the tight end. We'll see Marcus Allen on third downs and the speedster Alexander Wright, the NFL's fastest man. Dickerson gets three on first down. Maybe four on the lean to the 31. Reggie White, the all-pro defensive end, makes the tackle. Here's his company in green. Harmon Golick, the younger brother of Bob. Clyde Simmons has nine sacks. Joyner, Evans, and Thomas. Bud Carson said they cover better than any set of linebackers he's ever coached. That covers some territory. Booty and Allen on the corner. Allen's a pro bowler. Miano and Hopkins at safety. And Otis Smith comes in the nickel. this year. On second down, Renovich underneath to Tim Brown right at the sticks at the 37-yard line. Looks as if it'll be a half-yard short. Hopkins comes up to make the hit. Dick, if you're a Raider fan, a secret to the Raiders' success today is not throw in the obvious throwing situations. That was second down and medium yards. The underneath pattern, nice little pick run by the tight end. Clears out in the middle, but you can't get in third down in long situations if you're the Raiders because then you turn over your quarterback to the best pass rush in the last two years in the NFL. And of course even tougher with uh, Jerome Brown the inspiration of this Eagle team killed in a tragic automobile accident during the off year. They talked about and Hopkins who made that last tackle that Renovich bird dogs. Uh, you can learn a lot of offense meeting with Mike White in the classroom, watching film. But this is a very young player in Todd Marinovich, and young players lock onto a receiver. And when they lock onto a receiver, defensive backs just stand there and read his eyes. Bird dog, like pointing to where you're going to go. Third and inches. Marcus Allen on third down as promised it'll be close and we all know around the National Football League how tough that defense of the Eagles can uh, be in short yardage. Ask the Phoenix Cardinals with the six shots from the one yard line couldn't knock it home. I have a feeling too that Rich Kotite likes the idea he starts this big game at home with his defense on the field. 
First down as Allen needed only inches and didn't get much more than that. Maybe a foot. Say, the reason I say that about the defense is the defense, generally speaking, in the NFL sets the tone for the day. Your defense lays a lick on their offense. That's the tone of the day. So Kotite likes this first series matchup. Dickerson back in, but it's Steve Smith, the fullback, a rare carry, and he takes a punishing hit as filling the gap was Byron Evans, number 56. And those around the Eagles say this man, Evans, while he's uh, lived in the shadow of Seth Joyner and Reggie White and others, is a true Pro Bowl talent. Ask him yesterday, too, if you can uh, describe yourself. And he said, well, Joyner on the outside, he's the hitter. He said, I'm the guy who was the steady one. I stay inside, I don't make mistakes, and I don't like my opponent, whoever he is. And he does like the results yesterday of his alma mater, Arizona, over Washington. Second and eight. Good protection. Intercepted off the hands of Willie Gold and right into the midst of Eric Allen. Second of the year, a gift. Galt had it, and it bounded out of his grasp right to number 21, Eric Allen. From behind the offense, certainly can't put this on Todd Marinovich. It's a simple out pattern run by Galt. It's not that cold. That ball is certainly catchable. Should have been by Willie Galt. Certainly a bad start. Marinovich does not throw a particularly hard pass. Inexcusable to drop that one. So the Eagles take over at the 47-yard line. Los Angeles second worst in the turnover ratio in the league. And a penalty on first down. Ooh. And as missing the count was Antone Davis. He was going downfield like a wide receiver. Let's go back to the interception. Dick, you made the point uh, very good. There was nice protection for Marinovich. The ball is thrown on spiral. But this baby bounces off Willie Galt's hands like he's got him on backwards. <laughs> so five yard penalty as Davis moving uh, before the snap there's Eric Allen he doesn't get many chances most teams throw away from his coverage because of his talent first and 15 for McMahon Byers out of the backfield he's hit for a loss by Eddie Anderson so Anderson second in tackles to Ronnie Lott, the two safeties leading the Raiders in hits. Adds a deficit on uh, first and 15 as Byers loses a couple. Dick, the same is true for this Philadelphia offense. They want to run the ball with Herschel Walker, be very conservative. So when you get a five yard penalty on first and 10 and you got to sit there first and 15, now second and 20, you are playing to the strength of the Raiders defense, which is the pass rush. That little screen, not even close to working. Calvin Williams to the right. Fred Barnett to the left. Look for the tight end, Maurice Johnson, 87. They have not thrown to him this year. And down goes McMahon as Howie Long, who played his college football here in the city of brotherly love for Villanova University. Long, who's having a solid season, and this his 12th year, has six and a half sacks. He's on the second year pro, Anton Davis. Howie Long just ejects Davis out of his way, still with great strength. He's playing all over the line. Plays some nose tackle, some defensive end. What was his line to you yesterday at practice? And you said, give me one Villanova story. They were homecoming opponents for 22 straight <laughs> opponents while he was there. That's Everyone no wanted Villanova for homecoming. But they won yesterday against New Hampshire. A big win here in Division II. Boy, what a series by the Raider defense. Eight-yard loss on that last play. Now McMahon, third and long, gets it to veteran Roy Green. Far short of the first down out at the 45 yard line. Terry McDaniel makes the hit. And that'll bring up fourth down and about 18. Well, in that series, we saw great pressure by the Raider defensive line. They didn't come with a blitz, just a four man rush. And I think that's a concern for Rich Kotite, Jim McMahon, and the Philadelphia Eagles. The offensive line has not really held up its end in the last four or five weeks here for Philadelphia. Very important series with the interception in Raider territory. Eagles having the ball, and uh, the defense did the job. So Jeff Fiegelt of the Eagles gets it away. A beautiful high spiral. Brown will let it bounce, and it takes an eagle bounce. 
Lions are down at the five-yard line. Majestic 50-yarder by Fiegels. When we come back, the Raiders will tee it up at their own five. It's a refreshing taste from a cold, cold place. Yeah, it's easy going down from the very first round. Pure as can be, it's a natural, you see. Wow. It's smooth, smooth, silver bullet smooth. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's our story. Now it's your call. Cold Coors Light, it's the right beer now. That's all. Bye-bye. Starting now, your photos have the power of television. Introducing the Kodak Photo CD. You won't believe your heart. You won't believe your eyes. Your pictures taken with your current film and camera, transferred onto a new kind of compact disc and shown on TV. The special photo CD player also plays audio CDs. Your pictures have never been so powerful. The new Kodak Photo CD system. You've got to see it. So, I see you changed your mind, huh? Well, the Camry was nice. Mm -hmm. And then I drove this. Yeah. Mileage is better. Really? And with the power, I'm telling you, it's like a sports car with room for the kids. You'll probably set you back, huh? About 3,000 less than the Camry. No kidding. No kidding. Well, what is it? The new Grand Am. It's a Pontiac. Really? Pontiac. It really looks nice. Philadelphia Eagles in a scoring slump in the last four games. They get an opportunity. Interception at the Raider 47. Move backwards. The defense of Los Angeles doing the job. And now the punt. And it's Todd Marinovich and company starting at the five-yard line. And Willie Gold eager to get back in action and make uh, amends for his misplay that led to an interception. He was out of the huddle long before everyone else. And now the crowd will try to bolster the Eagle defense. for the snap, and that'll cost Los Angeles. Well, he was going to throw there, too. Play action fake by Marinovich. He was going to toss it. Check out the other early scores as they move through Ball our ticket. start. Number 77 offense moving prior to the snap. Half the distance to the goal, still first down. Tom White, the referee, announcing that Reggie McElroy playing at tackle for injured Steve Wright. I don't blame him for trying to be anxious on these pass plays. He is across from Reverend Reggie White. Dickerson gets back to two and a half, so it'll be second and ten as Britt Hager comes in, young man from Texas, to make the stop. We've talked a lot about the uh, Philadelphia Eagles, but on the Raiders' side of the ball, there's Marcus Allen on the sideline, has been demoted as a, he is the third string back behind Eric Dickerson and Nick Bell, number 38 right there, is not sure why. Well, just as the uh, Raiders were happy, it was McMahon, not Cunningham at quarterback, felt they could defend him better. So were the Eagles pleased that Marcus Allen isn't going to play much, as they're more fearful of him than either Dickerson or Bell. It's also a mystery to Marcus Allen, too, as to why this situation exists. So what are they trying to do? Torture me? From his own end zone. Oh, that deflected by Mike Golick. But Simmons was there, and so was Reggie White. There's Golick, who is uh, some six years younger than Bob. From behind the offense. Look, they got... Eric Dickerson trying to block Clyde Simmons. Not. Please, watch the 29. This, oh, Eric Dickerson, oh, no, please, no, not, no, no, don't put me on this. And Marinovich is saying, I'm not calling that play again no matter what comes in. Third and ten. His dad, Louie, from Cleveland here to watch the two sons. Bob, who has also been demoted, is on the bench. Not in the starting defensive uh, four for the Raiders. Third and ten, and Smith gets only a couple of yards and uh, barely took the snap before 
the play clock ran out. And Dick, in the last four weeks, we got a fight going on here. You know, Byron Evans, he likes to hit him in the mouth and don't help him up off the field. Number 56 there. But, but this in capsule form is what's happened to the Eagles in the last three or four weeks. Defense does its job, get a turnover, stop the offense. Offense can't produce. Well, the offense about to get another opportunity as Jeff Gossett will kick from uh, his own end zone to Vi Sikahema, the veteran, and the rookie, Jeff Seidner. Bad kick. Out of bounds inside the Raider 40. Let's see where they mark it. At the 37 yard line. So the Eagles, two possessions, both in Raider territory. This isn't the Accord of the camera you were talking about. I know. This is so sporty. I got a V6 engine and standard anti lock brakes. Is it fun to drive? It's great. The control and the power, you know, for passing and that kind of thing. Uh huh. <laughs> And it was a couple thousand less than the Accord of the Camry. Really? What is this? It's a Pontiac, the new Grand Am. <sighs> Good for you. A puzzle. With so many stomach remedies around, how do you know which you can take for heartburn? And for diarrhea? And for upset stomach? You take Pepto-Bismol to relieve most any common stomach problem, heartburn, upset stomach, and diarrhea. So who needs anything else? That is a puzzle. Pepto-Bismol is the only one you need. Hi, Super Dave Osborne here with Hager Wrinkle-Free Cotton Pants. They look great right out of the dryer with no ironing, but Hager's asked me to put them to the ultimate test. I'll wear these pants through high-pressure jets, brushes, and dryers at three miles per hour. Ready? Oh, we're out of time. I guess Hager will have to pay me for another commercial. Maybe not! Oh! 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 New Hager Wrinkle-Free Cottons. 100% cotton, 0% wrinkles. They're still not wrinkled! The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Coors Light. The silver bullet is the right beer now. By the 25th Anniversary Diamond, a brilliant celebration of the loving marriage. By Schick Tracer, it traces every curve on your face. And by Pontiac and your nearby Pontiac dealers, we are driving excitement. Todd Marinovich trying to find some answers from Tom Walsh, who calls the plays while Jim McMahon goes to work at the Raider. 37 yard line after the 29 yard gossip punt. So the Eagles, excellent field position again. But man, wide open, Calvin Williams breaks a tackle out of bounds inside the 15. <laughs> 24 yards for the former Purdue receiver. See, right in the middle of the picture, it's Eddie Anderson. This is zone coverage by the Raiders. They just find a dead spot. And Jim McMahon, an excellent job of making that completion. And a lot misses the tackle. Keith Byers, a little assist down the field. Yeah, anything like that that the Philadelphia Eagles can get here just really helps in the early stages of this game. the 10 before Ronnie Lott can rattle off a tackle. Byers who is number two in rushing with 143 yards of the running backs but averaging over five a carry. Such a terrific talent because he can run the ball. He's an excellent receiver. One of the best and he has thrown five touchdown passes in his NFL career. He will also block you on your can too. He is the complete player. again and not much there. Willie Broughton submarining and uh, Greg Townsend 93 there as well. Roy Green the veteran comes in and McMahon and Green uh, have a simpatico that uh, might suggest that uh, you should watch for Green in this situation. Yeah call each other coach constantly. Coach McMahon, Coach Green of course two-way player when he was with St. Louis early in his career. First two years drafted as a defensive back. Shotgun 
Third and four. Take the walker. And he throws it away. Good coverage by the Raiders, so the Eagles will have to settle for three. Looked like the intended receiver was Keith Byers. Anthony Bell, number 59, was all over him. The, the Eagles did an awful lot there. They had motion, faking a handoff up underneath uh, Jim McMahon. It did not fool the Raiders one bit. So this is a missed opportunity here. The field position they got would come out with just three. Rozek will try a 24-yard field goal. Fortunately for the players today, not much wind to contend with. And he skips one through. Not by much. In fact, the Raiders thought it was wide. Timeout, 621 to go in the opening quarter. The Eagles on the board first. Just because you got 2.3 kids. Just because you got a house, a lawn, and a mortgage. Just because you're now a responsible adult. You still know how to have a good time. Don't you? The new Grand Am Sports Sedan. Every 20 seconds, a car is stolen. So Liberty Mutual is giving some police a powerful homing device that finds the car, which lowers insurance. And this device also finds the thief, who finds himself behind bars. At Liberty Mutual, we're facing the issues that face our customers. Alka-Seltzer Plus Nighttime now has a maximum strength cough suppressant and a maximum strength antihistamine. So you get the relief you need to rest without alcohol. Alka-Seltzer Plus Nighttime. Tough medicine without alcohol. This high-performance drink cleans your fuel system to help maintain peak performance. STP Gas Treatment. The high-performance drink for your car. Eagles three and the Raiders nothing. 621 left in the first quarter. Ruzek has it teed up. Jim McMahon, uh, one good play, the 24-yard pass to Calvin Williams, but that about it with two terrific uh, opportunities, one at the Raider 47, the other starting at the 37. Eagles get but three points. And now Alexander Wright, the speedster, fastest in the NFL, and McCallum are deep. They kick toward McCallum. At the one. The little cornerback, Mark McMillan, makes the stop. He's only 5'7", about 170 pounds. Dick, back to that play run by Philadelphia. This is third and four. Motion here, fake draw here. They bring this guy out. They're going to run a, a screen, and he just throws it out of bounds. Uh, when we talked to Randall Cunningham, he said, you know, the offense has changed. In 1991, it was one thing. Now there's a lot of different formations and stuff. This may be an example of what he's talking about. Why go with all the junk there, third and four, inside the 15? Strange call. Raiders continue to start deep in their own end. The protection. Oh, right into the teeth of three Eagle defenders. Tim Brown, the lonely Raider, and uh, fortunately overthrown. Dick, the, when you mentioned three defenders, Todd Marinovich was looking right at Tim Brown, drew every defensive back in the area right there. This is a, something that this young man is going to have to learn and learn quickly, that you can't stare at that receiver. You've got to at least look off some of these defensive backs. Now, watching this ball, one, two, I mean, that, that's a crowd you can't throw into. Dickerson. He isn't what he once was. The second leading rusher of all time behind Walter Payton. But Dickerson this year with 347 yards to lead the Raiders, but only a 3.7 average. And you can see the average per carry 
uh, getting down under the fours on uh, legs that are 32 years old, although he's never had a serious injury. He just doesn't seem to have that pop, that, yes. that uh, extra shot gear that he had when he first arrived with the Raiders. And Dickerson, and Dickerson, when he was young, that first two or three steps to the line of scrimmage from the, from the backfield was extraordinary. Not there anymore. As if he was catapulted forward. Marcus Allen replaces him, and Moranovic is smothered. Dick, do they award quarter sacks? I think all four of them got there. Set at the 5-17 mark of the first quarter. Let's all meet at Marinovich. Reggie White over on the left-hand side. Normally on the right-hand side, that time he was on Wilkerson. But White's there. Marinovich is seeing his cave in. He looks downfield. There's Simmons on the right, White on the left. Normally they're the other way around. But I count one, two, three, four. Eagle, defensive lineman on Todd Marinovich. So Philadelphia is going to get the ball probably in Raider territory again as the two people set up at the 50-yard line. And Gossett booms one out of there. Terrific kick this time. Seidner all the way to his 40. 50. And hit at the 47 of Los Angeles. 52-yard kick. 13 on the return. Dan Turk made the stop for Los Angeles. Timeout. 4.36 left in the opening period. Wow, oh, he looked scarier 25 years ago. Did I? You looked scared. I don't know. I thought I hit it well for an innocent groom. You were innocent for the 60s. Any regrets? None. You? Just one. What? That I waited 25 years to give you this. The 25th anniversary diamond. A brilliant celebration of the loving marriage. I've got goosebumps. Well, you've given me goosebumps for 25 years. Listen, I'm sure you work in an office. I'm here till 8 o'clock. What do you mean, 8? I'm talking about But you live on the phone. Sitting down. Which is why you should know about Centronet service from GTE. With Centronet, you get the features and flexibility of the most sophisticated business telephone system. Not the high cost of one. Get your foot off my desk. really, really difficult for me right now. Because while you spend most of your time on the phone... Deal. You hung up when he's gone now. There's no need to spend most of your money. Yeah, I looked at the BMW and the Lexus. And? I drove this. The power, the handling, the control. It was incredible. Really? It's got leather, ABS, dual airbags. It's even supercharged. I could have spent a lot more on the BMW or the Lexus. But why? What is this? The new Pontiac SSEI. We are driving. Very nice. Excitement. is back and uh, in talking with Jim McMahon he said I just want to get back to the bowl meaning the Super Bowl as he led the Bears in 85 almost a perfect season and he was ruining the opportunity he said we should have been meaning the yeah. Chicago Bears the team of the 80s not the 49ers but the 49ers beat him in a couple of big games and he admitted hey they beat us one time in Chicago this guy's different He's oh, what an understatement of the season. From the 47, three straight possessions starting in Raider territory. Man outside to Williams, who has carried out of bounds with the momentum, a short gain of four, and a uh, little extra hitting after the bell. Mo Johnson and Winston Moss. McMahon, a courageous. A substitute for Cunningham last year, he, he told us that he had a fractured right elbow and tendon torn away. In fact, there's a cadaver uh, tendon ligament, uh, yes. ligament in there to, to uh, allow him to continue this year. And he said, I, he said, I'd just be in so much pain all week long. And then he would take a certain shot on uh, Sunday morning and he'd go out and perform. And Eagles almost made it to the to the playoffs, finished seven and one. And down, incomplete intended for the tight end, Maurice Johnson, who played his college ball here in the city at Temple. Aaron Wallace Goodness, on the coverage. Eagles not doing much here offensively. This is Howie Long. He's untouched. They're trying to trick Howie Long. Howie Long is too much of a veteran. He's seen see too many rollouts to buy that fact. Stays right there to get in Jim McMahon's face. You know, 
The one comment I got to make about Jim McMahon is with the headbands he wore in Chicago, the, the funny sunglasses, the strange comments really hid a spectacular performance for years for the Chicago Bears. Also hid the fact that he's one of the game's great competitors. Uh, he's his own distraction. He said, I do that to amuse myself. He goes on top this time. And Barnett with a diving try at the five-yard line. So fourth down, and the punting team comes on. So yeah. McMahon unable to kickstart this uh, slumbering Eagle offense. This uh, Barnett running the batter and the initial move at the line of scrimmage when you've got bump and run of the corners are up there pressing he beats Lionel Washington like a drum but I'm telling you about this point the, the defense of Philadelphia could sue the offense for non support and they've got evidence strong evidence Eagles and it's uh, Tim Brown the third catch at the 11 yard line and the pattern of this force first quarter is the uh, Eagles with great field position opportunity in the Raider half of the field and Los Angeles starting very deep near its own goal line. A reminder next Saturday don't miss NBA Inside Stuff the entertainment show of the NBA hosted by our friends Hamad Rashad and Willow Bay. Inside Stuff takes to the streets. It's a special coverage of the ultimate playground three on three tournament. Don't miss the crowning of the Hoop It Up champion. Competition hits its final hour. It's all Saturday morning on NBC. Check your local listings. The NBA season underway. That's the Raiders start. They got a first down and then the interception. And then three and out the last two. Dickerson. A little delay and Dickerson slams out for about 10 yards before Wes Hopkins can trip him up. Nice lead block right up in front of him too. Steve Smith number 35 for years considered one of the great lead blockers. Look at that hit on Evans. Drives him right out of there. This Philadelphia Eagle up front four. They consume people allow the linebackers to make the tackles and when Smith can just park Byron Evans five yards deep. Yeah you're going to gain yards. Ten yards in fact for a first down. Contact before the snap. Golik jumping into Steve Wisniewski. Was he drawn off? He's the Golik playing today, which has been uh, historically not the case. Bob has done most of the playing. And Mike, uh, he said, I, I, you have the shorter hair because I want to be dad's favorite son. Uh, they both have a tremendous sense of humor and. Uh, of course, Mike following Bob to Notre Dame and then to the NFL. Both men early in their pro careers were kind of cast aside. Bob by the Patriots and Mike by Houston and then became uh, eventual starters and for Bob at least a pro bowler. Dickerson across the 30 on first and five as the penalty was against Mike Golick and it'll be uh, second and two and there's uh, going back uh, a few years Bob and uh, baby Mike. Of course, Mike said he never was a baby. He was born on the second, third, and fourth of September. Those were his formative years, though. Certainly on all fours, made him used to be a nose tackle, you know. But I ask him, I ask Mike, Dad's here. Who do they root for? And the response is, he roots for the defense, not for the team. And it's painful for Mike to watch Bob not playing. And Bob, uh, you can see, almost averting his pace as Dickerson flying a little hurt on that charge. Now, that had a little uh, spice to uh, the Dickerson effort. And Miano comes up from the safety spot to make the tackle, but it's first down Raiders. Again, he, you saw the lead bolt blocked by Smith, but he abandons him. And free safety Rich Miano sticks his helmet right in there. That's the spot played by Andre Waters, whoever plays that spot has got to be a big hitter in this Bud Carson defense. This series uh, beginning at the 12 yard line a couple of first downs as uh, Dickerson has been the workhorse. And a half remaining in the opening quarter Eagles lead three nothing. Incomplete good coverage by Eric Allen. Whoa, what recovery speed. Goodness. It was not thrown with great steam on it. You can see Allen looking in the backfield. He watched when he stops, he reads the set. Now watch the closure. Actually, Willie Galt should have had that one too. 
I'd, I'd change gloves if I were Willie right now. <laughs> They love the man cover talent of Eric Allen, who played at Arizona State. San Diego native. Renovitz now one for five for five yards and one interception. Not his fault. This is where the Eagles like to tee off. Play action. Whoa! Wes Hopkins! That was up there as a gift. Hopkins had a better chance of catching it than did Steve Smith. Another floater. He had pressure in his face. Watch the left side of the screen. You see the pressure? The rollout. Clyde Simmons right there. It floats. And Wes Hopkins, the other safety on this team, again gives the Philadelphia Eagles unbelievable field position. That ball is tipped by Clyde Simmons. Uh, you can't go into a game as a head coach and expect to have field position like Philadelphia is getting here. Where's Herschel Walker? Use him now. Get the ball in the end zone. That's right. Walker hasn't had his number called yet. Hopkins third interception gives him 29 in his career. He's close to becoming the all time pass theft in the Philadelphia history. Bill Bradley at 34. And now Walker hearing the advice from the stands. <laughs> the Eagles go to the former Heisman winner and uh, Winston Moss and Willie Broughton make the tackle. Marinovich one for six two interceptions and uh, you know, well his passes even at best to have very little on them. He's not known for arm strength. Uh, they feel he, for his years he has a lot of savvy and moxie and he has told us yesterday he's still learning. He should be a senior at Southern California. This could be a senior year. But man a little fake and then a hand off the fires and he was slowed up from behind by Willie Broughton and then Lionel Washington finished the job number 48. That's as close to the statue as Li Statue of Liberty play that the 90s will allow. You saw McMahon take the ball up like a throw and then hand it in front to Byers again going with the trick stuff. Anthony Smith who leads the Raiders with nine sacks now comes in. Smith, who works with Los Angeles youth. They like to talk about it, but are very generous in his time helping young people. And uh, the final second ticks off, and there's the gun. End of the first quarter. A uh, quarter of opportunity, but only three points for Philadelphia. Silver summer. Capture the ones you love without missing out on the fun yourself with a Sony Handycam, America's most popular camcorder. The Black & Decker Air Station. It has all the pressure you need to inflate anything fast. The Black & Decker Air Station, always at your service. If your face was square, shaving would be simple, but your face has curves. Presenting the revolutionary Schick Tracer, the only twin blade razor that flexes to follow the curves of your face. Schick Tracer, we're changing the face of shaving. Monday, Oprah guest stars on Fresh Prince. Your whole damn family is crazy. Don't miss Oprah. You got it, Oprah. On an all-new Fresh Prince. Oprah, Oprah. A hilarious NBC Monday. Randall Cunningham, a star in this league, and they say they, I'm the man that's going to lead them to the Super Bowl. Why am I sitting where I am? And he said, I, he told us that he wants to go back to 90 when it was a more free-floating offense. He had more liberty and ad-libbing plays than last year. They were stricter with the offense because he was hurt. They designed it for McMahon and others, and now they're still using that offense. And obviously, he's not comfortable in it, and he's really uncomfortable today. Third down as we open the second quarter. McMahon on the scramble. Borrowing a page from Cunningham. 
I believe he'll be short of the first down. Remember on the slide, it's where the ball is when you go down, not where your waist is. And you, usually the ball is a couple of feet back of the slide. Looks like Richie Kotite is going to go for it. And I was struck by Randall Cunningham was sitting on the bench there when his team is facing a, a critical third and seven. He's up on the sideline now, but the, the more that he's involved in what's going out there on the field, the better I think his teammates will feel about it. Leading three nothing. It is fourth and one. So they bring in an extra tight end, Pat Beach. And now we'll call timeout. Now McMahon wants to come over and talk it uh, over with Rich Kotite, a fighter, a boxer at the University of Miami. It takes a special kind of car to pass the test we give at Oldsmobile, like Cutlass Sierra, recently ranked the best model in initial quality in its price class by J.D. Power Associates. What's more, of all the Cutlass Sierras sold in the last 10 years, 95% are still on the road. So if you're looking for a quality car, you know exactly where to look. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. Visit your local dealer and get great deals on every model during Oldsmobile's 95th birthday celebration. One of these engines was filled with Castro Syntec, a new synthetic oil. The rest with conventional oils. They were then drained and started without oil to prove a point. You see Syntec's unique molecular structure bonds to engine parts. That test show it leaves a layer of protection far stronger than conventional oil. And if Syntec protects this well now, imagine if you leave it in. Castro Syntec protects in ways other oils can't. Fifty-year-old Rich Kotite forsaking the field goal for fourth and one shot at Moore, leading only three nothing early in the second quarter. Ball at the 21 of Los Angeles. That's easy for Rich Kotite to do with the defense that he has. You can go for it on fourth down. I mean, their defense is. On most weekends, not going to give that opponent many yards. Great luxury for Rich Kotek. Raiders bolster their bulk, looking for something short. Bob Golick does come in in this uh, short yardage defense. Keith Sherman replaces Byers. It's Walker and Sherman. And Sherman for the first down at the 19. Dave Lamer, veteran from the secondary, makes the tackle, and Kotite has four more downs. Not a bad lead block by Herschel Walker, left-hand side of the screen, number 34. Good push up front. Boy, that's, that's a helmet right in the chest of Winston Moss that really gave Heath Sherman just the yardage he needed for the first time to keep the drive alive. The Eagles' second first down. The Raiders have three. Howie Long and one of the theories around the league and the Eagles talked about it too is that Long is such a good man off the ball so quick and such a tough pass rusher uh, that the best answer is to run at Howie but uh, that doesn't always produce results either. He has unbelievable strength has always had great strength. You watch when they try to block him here he just stands up that right guard and is there to make the tackle. Fundamentally, this guy may be, out of his stance, the best who has ever played the game. Second down for McMahon. Boy, all day, someone's got to be open. Lionel Washington able to break up the attempt. Fred Barnett, oh, so close again to a touchdown. I'm shocked at how much time he had. I mean, normally the Raiders rush and rush very well, but he had, here's the guy who ends up 
getting the football down in the uh, end zone at the bottom of the screen. Telestrator not cooperating there. But watch at the bottom of the screen. McMahon's looking, looking, looking. He was going to go to the swing, and then finally, all the way across the field, incomplete. Third and 11. McMahon, a good job of dancing away from pressure and then has to eat it at the 20-yard line as Greg Townsend makes the tackle. Uh, will that be a sack? Yes, it will, and it'll be Townsend's first sack of the year. Here's a man with 13 last year who year after year has led the Raiders in sacks, 95 in nine years, and finally gets number one this season. Dick, the Raiders' coverage can't be that good. I mean, McMahon is finding no one open. By the way, in the Miami lead, you saw Keith Jackson, a touchdown pass from Marino. Fake. Feagles. Incomplete. Intended for an offensive lineman, Brian Baldinger, who was an eligible receiver. A flag is down. Personal foul against the Raiders. Oh, oh my. So Archell's Raiders defensively a bright spot for the men in the silver and black. But after stopping the Eagles a personal foul will carry with it an automatic first down. Uh, no. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness number 56. Half the distance to the goal. First down. That's Andre Bruce and it's because it's a shot to the head. So the Eagles certainly have helped the Raiders here by extending the drive, giving them a first down. And on the Eagles' sideline, no offense, zero offense. Where is Herschel Walker? Yeah, they're not, that does not carrying an automatic first down, at least as yet. They have, still have fourth down up on the yardstick, but the personal foul should be automatic. Absolutely. They're going to change the down marker. Yeah, the penalty yardage on fourth and 11 would be 15 or half the distance in this case. But is, isn't that something they have to resort to a uh, fake field goal? We're seeing a lot of junk here by the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, at some point, head coach has to display confidence in his offense. Hammer that line of scrimmage. On the last play, unnecessary roughness number 56. Previous spot was the 20-yard line. Half the distance to the goal puts it at the 10. First down. So the full 10 yards to go for the touchdown. The Eagles have started roaring out of the gate and then just having trouble collecting any points here the last four games. That's why McMahon's in there. Leading 3-0. Got a second chance. First and one. Powers for three or four. Walker leading the Eagles and the sixth leading rusher in the National Football League with 619 yards starting today plus 18 catches. I think what uh, the Eagles have done with the Herschel Walker is limit where he's going to run. Don't bounce him to the outside. Keep him straight ahead. And at 230 pounds still a force to bring down. Heisman winner the year after Marcus Allen won that high honor. You'll see that on NBC again this year. Second and six. Walker. Look at him plow his way to the one yard line on second effort. That's why it uh, made you curious yeah. about Trumpy that they weren't calling uh, Walker's plays more often. And Dick there's so much to the psychology of the game of football where you can turn your offensive line loose and hammer this defensive line it gives them confidence it makes them feel like hey we can do something when you run the junk and try to go to the outside your offensive line never gets a chance to leave an impression on that defense Walker at 225 ran right through Aaron Wallace's attempt and Wallace is 15 pounds heavier at the five yard line takes it to the one Tenth play of the drive helped out by the personal foul on the fourth down fake punt. Walker again. Touchdown. Well, it 
just mentioned they're running Herschel Walker tackle to tackle. That's in the eighth spot. That's outside the tight end. So the penalty by Andre Bruce cost Art Shell's team six and uh, probably seven points. It'll look like just 10 yards in the scoreboard, but it counts seven for the Eagles, and they now lead 10 to nothing. It'll be coming right at you. Watch 33 Eddie Anderson appear. Watch where he goes down to the ankles of Herschel Walker. Walker runs right through the tackle for the score. Can a razor cut your beard below the skin without the blades touching your face? It can if it's a Norelco, because inside the floating heads, our lift and cut system lifts the hair so when it's cut, it can drop below skin level without the blades touching your face. Are you shaving this incredibly close and comfortable? You are when you shave with Norelco. Norelco, we make close comfortable. We built this business. I hit the brakes. You know, they're at a lock brakes. It was close, but we stopped in time. Build this business. Every year they plant new trees. Dad says they make good things for trees. After my accident, they advanced my insurance benefits and built me a ramp and got me back on my feet. We built this business to build your dreams. When you compare Bravada's Smart Track to Explorer's four wheel drive, it's easy to see who's in control of the situation and who's slipping up. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. Up a steep grade, under slippery conditions, the Oldsmobile Bravada can beat the Ford Explorer. Even with one boat tied behind its back. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. By Delta Airlines. At Delta, we love to fly, and it shows. By Norelco patented lift and cut shavers. We make close comfortable. And by cold filtered Miller Genuine Draft and Miller Genuine Draft Light, taking the country by storm. The Eagles, after the interception by Hopkins, go 31 yards. It took them 10 plays plus a 10 yard penalty. But Walker finally scores, and it's 10-0. Can't fault the Raider defense. He can fault Bruce with a penalty. Bruce X kick high to Alexander Wright. The Eagles never let him get to full speed, and that's part of the design. The tackle made by Mike Flores at the 22-yard line. A reminder, the second half of NBC's doubleheader. Most of you will see the 6-2 and two Steelers against the 6-2 and two Buffalo Bills. The Steelers tied with uh, the Eagles. Least points allowed this year. The Bills, the top scoring AFC team. Up with you will see San Diego and Kansas City or the Jets and Broncos. Raiders looking for a win today that will bring them back into the flow of uh, AFC West that uh, kind of sort out the team to beat. Tim Brown from Renovich tackled after a gain of 13 by John Booty, the former Jet. If there is an Achilles heel of this Philadelphia Eagles defense, it is John Booty. Not that he's a bad player. But he doesn't come close to the guy who was playing there last year, Ben Smith. Now, this is a very aggressive defense. Booty uh, gave uh, Tim Brown too much yardage there, too much of a cushion. Teams try to find where Booty is, and that's the receiver that gets the ball against Philadelphia. Brown out to the right against Booty on first down. To the other side. Oh, just did get it to Alexander Wright as diving in front of the play. It appeared to be uh, Eric Allen and a linebacker came shooting in there as well. Maybe it was William Thomas that uh, had designs on an intercept. Let's Dick, check it. He's not tricking him. You see Thomas jump oh. up, almost get it. Eric Allen does make the tackle. It's a nice six or eight yard game. I, I think what they're doing here is trying to go to the five step drop. Uh, for Marinovich, keep the pass rush off of him, which is probably very sound on it, Archell's part. 10 0 Eagles, although both defenses have basically smothered the opponent's tries. Second and four. 
Popovich. And a flag goes down. Booty pushing on Tim Brown. Brown did not have access to the root of the ball. Booty had him pushed away. Did you did you think that ball was catchable? Well, that pass interference. Number 42 on the defense. First down at the spot. That is uh, another issue. Yeah, Dick. I actually think the Raiders are very lucky here because as you see, Booty force Tim Brown to the outside. Well, there certainly is contact. There's no question about that. And Brown acted out the roll well, and it's worth 11 yards to the Raiders and the first time they've been in Eagle territory at the 46. Again, Brown and Booty matched up top of your screen. Play action. Mredovich down the middle. Oh, missed intercepted by Hopkins again. He knew. He could have caught that one. Alexander Wright was the closest Raider. Crossing pattern run by Alexander Wright. One man with great speed, but Marinovich has to throw this over a defender. You see Byron Evans, 56, just gets in his way. Hopkins almost comes up with his second of the first half here today against Mr. Marinovich. And the third against uh, Marinovich. He was three for nine, as you can see. Green Bay leading the Giants. That's who the Eagles will play next week in Wisconsin. Marinovich going long for Brown. Intercepted by Booty at the five-yard line. Three picks by the Eagles. Marinovich does not look good this first half. No, and Dick, there's no reason for him to throw this other than to just make a point. Sometimes the Raiders throw the ball deep for that what's referred to as vertical stretch. Threaten them with speed. But you can see the cornerback Booty is back here along with the safety. And the ball eventually does come down. And it's zone coverage. Wes Hopkins is back there. A very poor choice by Todd Marinovich. Look, look, look at the coverage. You can't just throw for impression. It doesn't work in this game anymore. Fairness to Marinovich, the first interception really was a ball should have been caught by Willie Gall, went off his hands to the Eagles, but the next two were right to Philadelphia, and there have been a couple others that were almost intercepted. McMahon takes over and screens territory deep in his own end at the five. Walker for three on first down. And the way uh, that tackle was made, you've got to think Ronnie Lott, number 42, was in there somewhere. I didn't see a number, but it just sounded like, yep, there he is. He does approach the line of scrimmage with what we would refer to as a blur. We had, uh, he is the most fascinating interview I think we've had all year. We've talked to a lot of players. He is so cerebral, articulate. This man has head coach crime. I asked him, what well, would you like to coach? And I think he could be a terrific head coach. And certainly we need more black uh, head coaches in the NFL. He's almost coaching some of these young guys on the Raiders now, Dick. Walker trying to find room. There is none. Ricky Ellison makes the stop. And as expected, these two teams very physical. This won't be the last time. A uh, little extra action after the whistle. Heller and uh, Maurice Johnson of the Eagles defending their rights. Lot, uh, you know, he brings more than example of play. And I, I think it's uh, the quality of the man and this veteran that he doesn't just perform by example. Well, you're absolutely correct. And we've had the Raiders several times this season and every young guy on this Raider team you talk to you say we have a problem yeah you go to Ronnie Lott he's counseled Marinovich he's counseled Nick Bell he's counseled this guy he's counseled that guy he and he also to... not just talks to him but in practice oh. says, hey you're not running hard enough run harder and Man. yells at, at his uh, teammates you can't have enough guys like that on your football team I mean it, what they do is so mystical and so magical but it's so simple he said, I'm going to be like Jack Reynolds. They're going to carry me out of this game kicking and screaming. I'm going to enjoy every last hit. Third down six. Shotgun McMahon. Sikahema incomplete. And the Eagles will have to punt. Well, makes you wonder, where is Randall Cunningham? They, ought, they ask Richie Kotite, what if Jim McMahon has a great game? They didn't ask, what if Jim McMahon has a poor first half? 
Well, he told Cunningham to be ready, and uh, the promise has been there. And you heard on NFL Live, Cunningham said, "But Cunningham, the promise I play in the fourth quarter yeah. of Dallas, yeah. and it didn't happen. So now I wonder if I really will start at Green Bay next week." Diggles, very high. Tim Brown takes a chance. He knew two Eagles were on top of him: Rip Hager and William Thomas. Time up. We chose AT&T because our 800 service is our front door. If it shuts down, we shut down. To us, a single 800 call could be worth thousands of dollars. If a customer dials our 800 number and can't get through, it's like telling them to take their business somewhere else. When you have competition like I do, you better be there for your customers. Only Delta gives you more flights from over here to over there. Only Delta flies you nonstop to more cities from over here to over there. In fact, only Delta flies you nonstop to more cities in Europe than all these airlines combined. Delta, we love to fly and it shows the world over. The folks in Lake Edna want to know the secret of new improved KFC Extra Tasty Crispy. How chicken so crispy outside could be so tender and juicy inside. <laughs> the secret is a special KFC process called Double Daddy Rip. Chicken and dip it in uniquely crispy. Not once, but twice. Leaving the inside tender and juicy and the outside crispy and crunchy. Any questions? Mm -mm. Hurry and try new improved Extra Tasty Crispy from KFC. Next Saturday, Notre Dame's home slate concludes in grand style as the Penn State Nittany Lions, led by O.J. McDuffie and Richie Anderson, roar into South Bend to take on Rick Meyer, Reggie Brooks, and the Fighting Irish in a battle of two of the nation's highest scoring teams. Notre Dame football is home on NBC. Back at Veterans Stadium and... Uh... The week of the quarterback, new quarterback, Todd Marinovich, is benched by Art Shell. Here's Jay Schrader. He hasn't started since the second game of the season when he threw for 380 yards against Cincinnati. Best ever by a Raider quarterback on the road and was benched. But Marinovich didn't have it, so the veteran Schrader, and he comes out throwing strikes, a bullet to Tim Brown, and a first down at the 36. The other thing, Schrader inherited the best Raider field position, starting a series in the half by some uh, 28 yards. That definitely helps from behind the defense. You mentioned it. It's the zip on the football. Schrader with a very strong arm. Again, it's Tim Brown on 42, John Booty. Now the defense is going to have to roll to Booty to protect him. I suppose it's sunk in yet that Young Todd is not on the field for the, our surfer. Well, he, he knew he wasn't playing well, and that seemed apparent to everyone. Schrader trying to rally the Raiders, and Dickerson fought for a loss in the backfield, but able to break free from uh, rookie Tommy Jeter, third round pick from Texas, and picks up some yardage. Jay Schrader, and uh, he knows uh, if anyone could identify with uh, Cunningham and what he went through this week at Schrader, he's been through that at Washington and now with the Raiders. And we had the game after he was benched out in Los Angeles, and he said, Hey, what can I do? I had my best game as a Los Angeles Raider. They put me on the bench. I mean, what more can I do? We lost. The quarterback has got to help this team win. Second and eight. Ray Schrader slips, but then. Able to slip a tackle, then goes out of bounds on the scramble inside the 30. It'll be short of the first down. Gain of six. William Thomas running him out. Schrader is a guy who, when he was acquired from the Washington Redskins, uh, this kid has a great winning percentage as a starter and as a quarterback in the in the NFL. When the uh, when the Los Angeles Raiders acquired him, they thought he's the guy. But this guy has not played a whole bunch of football in his life. I mean, he's a former baseball player. Yeah, four years out of UCLA, Absolutely. he was in the Toronto Blue Jay organization. Uh, he thought he might be uh, celebrating a World Series. He was a teammate of Jimmy Key and Pat Borders and some of those uh, Blue Jays. Third and three, and big hole for Marcus Allen. And the all-time Raider rusher, Mark 
Marcus Allen has a first down inside the Eagle 10. 20 yards on the play. How can you keep this guy out of the lineup? There is not as much blocking available as should result in 20 yards, but he can still make the moves. I asked him before the game, I said, what are they doing to you? And he said, they're torturing me. And I said, what, what does it tell you? And he says, it tells me that I won't be here next year, but I, I know I can still play. Well, he was hoping that he'd be traded. Earlier this year, the Raiders said no one really wanted to pick up his big contract, but uh, Marcus told me that he heard otherwise, that there were some teams that wanted him, but Raiders elected to keep him. To the five-yard line goes Steve Smith. So, what an interesting turn here. Schrader comes in for Marinovich, the veteran quarterback for the younger quarterback, and then Marcus Allen, a man basically in his uh, his feelings has been benched because he's not going to be used except in special situations. But then he contributes every time uh, he's allowed the opportunity. So look, when you mention special situations, I mean you've got to recognize his talent. He has 20 yard runs, 15 yard catches, touchdowns from five or six yards, great blocks. Get him in the game. He's on the sidelines on second and goal. Good coverage by Philadelphia. Initial receiver, the primary one, was Steve Smith. And as Schrader rolls to tight end, Glover does an excellent job. Now one foot down. Didn't drag the feet. Got to drag the feet. Former basketball player. Part of learning the game is where that sideline exists without looking at it. But he did a... The good thing is that when the quarterback runs right, you run right with him so he can hit you on the move. But that one little scramble by Schrader told the big difference between the veteran and Marinovich. Absolutely. Because Schrader had a couple of chances to throw into coverage and didn't. Timeout. Trying to be called by Los Angeles. So with third and goal at the five-yard line, we take a break. Ten-nothing Eagles. Five minutes to go in the half. from GM has no moving parts. It uses no gas. It's made entirely of plastic that turns into steel. The new GM MasterCard. Every time you use it, GM will credit 5% of your purchase toward a new car or truck from GM. That could mean hundreds, even thousands of dollars in savings over and above any other discounts or rebates. And there's no annual fee. The GM card, the new financial vehicle. Filtered. Miller Genuine Draft. For those who've discovered its real draft taste, the world is a very cool place. The Houston Oilers looking to stay in the hunt in the AFC Central. The Minnesota Vikings, led by rookie head coach Dennis Green and a dominating defense, they're in first place in the NFC Central. It'll be mayhem in the Metrodome when these two interconference powers collide next Sunday. Hall of Famer Art Shell, so many times in goal-to-go -go situations. It was his block along with Upshaw on the left side that led to a Raiders score. Marcus Allen is the long running back. He has 97 career touchdowns. Third and goal. Schrader. Incomplete to Alexander Wright. Tough chance. Schrader under some pressure as Clyde Simmons was breezing through. So the field goal unit comes on. Now, Tom Walsh, the Raiders offensive coordinator, told us last night, First thing you have to do when you play a team like the Philadelphia Eagles is is think protection. And that time, um, 
Marcus Allen was in there for protection. There's Tom, Tom Walsh standing up with the headset on. Mike White down in front of him. He's the quarterback coach. 23 yard attempt by Jeff Jager, who had a tremendous year last year. Missed only five of 34, but this year, 10 of 18 make it 11 of 19. And the Raiders have scored. So the insertion of Schrader into the lineup brings immediate results, not what uh, Archell had hoped for, the full seven. But the Raiders back in the game with a 4.56 to go in the half. And that's a veteran. Schrader goes right to the kid, Todd Marinovich. Said, hey, you know, we got better field position. Thanks for your support. Marcus Allen with a 20 yard run. Nice completion to Tim Brown. And a little life in the Los Angeles Raiders offense here. But the same pattern is emerging for the Philadelphia Eagles. Defense on the field a lot. Missed opportunities by the offense. And with all of the great field position by Philadelphia, they only lead by three. Let me ask you, now I'm going to make you the Eagles head coach for about two seconds and that'll please Philadelphia fans. Uh, <laughs> would you have been Cunningham? Uh, yes I would have. This was not just last week's performance. Over the last two or three weeks his numbers had gone down. It was very obvious and one of the biggest secrets on a football team is who's doing well and who's not. The secret is out amongst his teammates. They were willing to tell us publicly that uh, Randall Cunningham was not is dedicated to the game plan to watching film as Jim McMahon was. That's the worst secret, the, the closest held secret that an NFL football team can have. So Rich Cunningham, Kotak made the absolutely the only choice he could make. It's a wake up call for Cunningham. Absolutely. A real blessing for him. Sikahama, the former Cardinal, born in Tonga, always a great return man. What an effort, and he's out of bounds at the 45 yard line. Seven year veteran Sikahema from PYU. He just is so tough to bring down. Former Golden Glove champion, the 13 year old. Well, again now, Philadelphia with outstanding field position. Well, is this a repeat performance? Sikahema contributing any way he can. 40 yard return. They picked him up on Plan B from Green Bay after his five years with the Cardinals. To Walker, Howie Long pressuring, and Heath Sherman gets the little checkoff pass in the flat to the 48 of the Raiders. Now where's Keith Byers? Now this is a nice little play action fake. Looked like the uh, initial receiver was going to be Barnett. He's down the field on the right. You see him open, but when when McMahon is flushed, he's got to find the outlet receiver. Excellent job done by that running back. There's Jay Schrader on the sideline celebrating that three points. Todd Marinovich in front. Oh man, not the way I hoped it started. Not the first quarter that the field punished against this Eagle team. Not a very good fake, almost a broken play. No, it goes to Calvin Williams, and he has a first down. And the Raider 42. That didn't look very smooth, oh, did it? it? Sure didn't. Randall Cunningham on the sideline, and, and frankly, I'm not sure if that's the way. Well, let's see if we can pick it up from behind the offense. We should be able to tell. No, it's a play action fake, but again, Howie Long is just eating up Anton Davis 78, and he's blowing up the the initial part of the the play to the point where the quarterback set, can't set up, which is what Randall Cunningham told us. I got no chance to set up. He's like one of those kitchen uh, little gadgets of dicers. I mean, he just <laughs> mixes everything up, cuts it all up, and it's hard to be smooth when that guy's breathing down your neck. Now it's Herschel Walker right at Howie Long. Long, basically, for you longtime uh, fans of the Raiders, you usually saw Howie Long out on that left end, defensive end position. In the what's happened now, he's moved inside. He's taken Golick's spot, basically. I told you earlier, fundamentally one of the soundest defensive ends to have ever played the game. What Howie has always done, and I think Earl Liggett taught him this, the defensive line coach, he has his knees, hips, and shoulders in line. So he's one of the most powerful guys in the first step or step and a half on the line, off the line that the NFL has ever seen. Look at that beautiful stance. And so lightning quick off the ball. 
The catch by Fred Barnett, who leads the Eagles coming in with 36. Lila Washington, the tackle, first down. Good time for Jim McMahon to throw. It's the most important thing, Barnett with bump and run coverage. Lionel Washington, little square in, balls on the way, almost unstoppable. And again, back to Howie Long. Now, I told you his stance, look at the power he produces. Throws Eric Floyd, 300 pounds, literally out of his way. And his teammate Wallace also. 10-3 Eagles. First down, Philadelphia at the 27 of the Raiders. Reverse. Alvin Williams and the Raiders were waiting for that one. They'd seen that before. He's tackled way back at the 41-yard line by Andre Bruce. 14-yard loss as we come to the two-minute timeout. Oldsmobile presents You Make the Call. With less than two minutes to go in the first half, Browning Nagel is sacked in the end zone and fumbles. Teammate Freeman McNeil recovers the ball and advances it to the 11-yard line. Now you make the call. Where do you spot the ball? July 1992. Oldsmobile redefines quality. The Oldsmobile Achiva went head-to-head -head against Honda Accord and Toyota Camry in a 100,000-mile real-world test. The independent test results prove Achieva beat them both with lower total cost, which consists of maintenance, repair, and operating costs. Quality has been redefined by Achieva and the company that went far enough to prove it. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. What call did you make? With less than two minutes to go in the half, a fumble can only be advanced by the player who fumbled. This is a safety. Spot the ball on the 20 for a free kick. When your sinuses are closing in on you, what you need is a sinus spray like Sinex. Only Sinex adds Vicks Vapors to its decongestant, so at last you can feel your sinuses open up. <sighs> For sinus, think Sinex. Get the power! The affordable Canon CJ10. The power of color is yours. Philadelphia, Dick Enberg with Bob Trumpy, inviting you to stay tuned. Halftime, the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report with Messrs. Costas, Simpson, and Coach Rand. This is his kind of game, uh, 69 total yards for the Eagles, and there's Randall Cunningham, and one of the comments I said, uh, you know, when troubled times, you call friends. Whom did you call this past week? He said, I called Buddy Ryan several times. His line was e either busy or uh, he wasn't home, so Buddy, uh, next time pick it up. Randall needs to talk to you. <laughs> he still has great affection for the former coach of the Eagles. As do most Philadelphia Eagle players. That last uh, reverse cost Eagles 15 yards officially. So second and 25 for McMahon, who goes long. And throw by McMahon on the money to Fred Barnett for his fifth touchdown reception of the season. And Cunningham is the first one to greet fellow quarterback Jim McMahon on the sideline. Touch of class, Randall. 69 yards total offense in the half, and they get 42 on that play. A big eagle touchdown. With 1.53 left in the half, Ruzek to try the point. Seventeen three, Philadelphia, as Jim McMahon applauding uh, the rest of his linemen who come off, a flag down on the extra point. Tom White will clarify. Meanwhile, <laughs> just a you couldn't find two quarterbacks that are any more different. There is no infraction on the play. He was blocked into the kicker. No infraction. Extra point is good. I think we'll get back to your comment, but look. The absence of Keith Jackson forces this kind of coverage by the Raiders. 
Corners up, safeties out. The linebackers cover the inside guys, but with no Keith Jackson, there's really no threat down the middle. But still, Eddie Anderson, number 33, you'll see him deep here, allows the receiver to get by him. He bites on the little in move. McMahon stays with the play and makes the completion. You design this defense, Dick, for one reason, to shut down the outside receivers deep. Now, that's not the cornerback's fault, but Eddie Anderson bit on the move. McMahon stays with the play. Yeah, yeah. You know, that just explain how really difficult this game, and this is the artistry. The timing had to be immaculate. The fake was perfect, and uh, you beat a man by a step, and you get seven points. Yeah, this is also, I, I think, the experience of a Jim McMahon, hanging with the play, having great confidence in his receiver, looking at the safety, not at the corner, keeping him off and having him deep and making the completion. And look who come to McMahon. Those are his friends, not the wide receivers, not the so-called skill players. McMahon drives a team at quarterback with the uh, the spirit of an offensive Absolutely. line. And when you ask about his best friends with the Bears, he starts rattling off his offensive line. Walter Payton, too, but it's the Hilgenberg. Van Horn, Hilgenberg. He's the domino. He's a domino champion of the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, outside the NFL, that means nothing. But inside the NFL, I mean, it, that speaks volumes. Look at the offensive lineman. What's Sick of Hammer doing there? Get him out of there. <laughs> Sick of Hammer doesn't belong well, he plays like one. He's trying to fit in. Randall Cunningham, uh, his thoughts seem elsewhere. Seventeen to three. One fifty-three left in that very short kick. McCallum. Just a fair catch that one. Stays on his feet. And brings it out to the 40-yard line with plenty of time. Jay Schrader brings his offense back on the field. And next Saturday, boy, they must be uh, in a pleasant mood at Notre Dame. Uh, well, first of all, let's talk about hoop it up next Saturday. World's, uh, that'll uh, follow Notre Dame football. It's the world's largest basketball tournament and spotlights the nation's best street players challenging Dr. J's team of greats Gervin and Cooper and Calvin Murphy and Walter Davis on the court of dreams. Those street legends. And of oh, course, they're that, dangerous in basketball. That's a double bill next Saturday following Notre Dame and Penn State. Oh, Notre Dame, I can't believe. Uh, I thought Boston College would give them a real go. Marcus Allen greeted with a flag down. Byron Evans making the stop. What did, what did Byron Evans tell us? He said, when Marcus Allen was a rookie, he toasted me up. <laughs> toasted me up, translated means, and beat me like a drum. And Marcus Allen is even laughing. Byron Evans probably referring back to his rookie year when Marcus Allen made him look bad. That was a picture perfect tackle. Illegal formation, not on the line of scrimmage, five yards, previous spot, still first down. Paul Mark back to the 35 yard line. You're just joining us. Uh, and somehow missed the controversy here in Philadelphia. It's Randall Cunningham sitting down for a week and McMahon running in the show. And then Todd Murinovich goes by Art Shell today. As Murinovich intercepted three times in the first half and veteran Jay Schroeder. Dumping it off to Marcus Allen. Oh, what a move by Allen on Eric Allen. Not related, although both grew up in San Diego, California. 14 yards on the play. Actually, very heady move by Jay Schrader. Avoiding the rush from around the outside. Steps up, still makes the completion. Just shy of the first down. It was first and 15, now second and a short two. This one of the Schrader's with the... Two timeouts left and a minute 32 to go. Officially second and one, closer to second and two. Hit by Evans. Right at the 50 yard line. Uh, they may have to measure on this one. Well, the insertion of Schrader, all things considered, has been a very timely move by Art Shell. Terry Robisky on the sideline there with Archell signaling in the plays. They're called by Tom Walsh up there. It is performed very admirably here in this first half. First down, clock running. Schrader hit by Simmons and then finished off by Reggie White. Well, you don't want to be the center of that 
egg sandwich. They can break quarterbacks in pieces between those two guys. Reggie White, who has more sacks than games played, the only one in the NFL. Reggie McElroy, man on man with Reggie White. That is a mismatch. He even tried to get Todd Pete 64 out there. He beats them both. 41 40 seconds left. Raiders don't spend a timeout, second and long. Marcus Allen staying in the block. That's Tim Brown. With a flag down. That's a first down. Booty finally gets Tim Brown to the turf. And we'll see if this is a face man's. Clock stopped as you saw. 30 seconds left in the half. 17 3 Philadelphia. The ball at the 37 if it counts. Well, it certainly didn't take him long to find it. There was a, a face mask penalty there. But it's coming back. It looks like it's against the Raiders, Dick. Well, apparently they did not see the face mask, but uh, did catch one of the Raiders with a foul. They mark it back, Tom White. All Offensive right. pass interference, number 88 offense, 10 yards from the previous spot, still second down. Ethan Horton, a tight end, uh, trying to pick off a defender to free up uh, Brown apparently. Well that has become so common in the game today the tight end releasing off the line of scrimmage there you see 88. Actually he hits John Booty on the shoulder that that's very questionable but the NFL officials have called that rather closely this year. That was pretty good. Marcus Allen and now the Raiders with the penalties being pushed back and uh, apparently want to just run out the clock. Seth Joyner makes that tackle. Joyner playing with a brace on a injured uh, left knee. Highly regarded uh, talent out of University of Texas El Paso and uh, Pro Bowler last year. One of the one of the captains. He won't even go out and shake the other team's hand. He gets nasty on game day. We saw him earlier with a uh, number of his. Uh, Fallen friend Jerome Brown uh, shaved in the back of his head. The end of the first half. Archell decision making as does his counterpart Rich Kotite. The Eagles by two touchdowns. What makes Los Angeles great is its people. They truly make it the city of angels. He's Ethan Horton of the Los Angeles Raiders and he knows our community. When we come together through the United Way, we can accomplish great things. It's there in the faces of these children in this United Way daycare program. Here they get professional care, healthy food, and guidance. Dr. Herbert Carter, president of the United Way of Los Angeles, makes the importance of the United Way clear to all of us. Ethan, United Way, like the Los Angeles Raiders, is dedicated to excellence in performance. This year, 43% of our campaign results will go to support programs which focus on children and youth. We are committed to helping to build a more caring and compassionate society. I know that through our contributions to the United Way in Los Angeles, we can be there when people need us. Now, more than ever, United Way. Your local United Way, helping where help is needed most. This message furnished by the National Football League. Tonight, an NBC double feature, Secret Service, the movie, and Michael J. Fox in the hard way. First, a plan to crash a plane into the White House. We're going to Washington! Based on the actual case. How do we get on that plane? No! Maximum Security, the Secret Service movie. Then Michael J. Fox and James Woods are stuck with each other. I'm sensing that you're not completely happy with this situation. There's something a little different about our car. If you can't trust your partner, who can you trust? The television premiere of the hard way after Secret Service, the movie, NBC Tonight. so many people attracted to the 93 Grand Prix? Could be because the Pontiac Grand Prix has standard air, automatic, and a fuel-injected V6. It could be the way the Grand Prix handles. It could be the low price. Just $239 a month with a Pontiac Smart Buy. 
Or it could be that so many people are attracted to the Grand Prix because so many people are attracted to the Grand Prix. The 93 Grand Prix. Get yours now with a Pontiac Smart Buy for just $239 a month. Blue Tilly Sports, tonight at 6. A live halftime report brought to you by Domino's. Nobody knows like Domino's how you like pizza at home. Okay, the former Eagles coach Buddy Ryan is here, and of course, O.J. Simpson will get their comments on the first half in just a moment, but first to the scoreboard. The game you folks are watching, the Eagles 17 and the Raiders 3. Elsewhere, Dallas goes to the half at the Silverdome with a 20-3 lead over the Lions. Let's take a look at the rushing comparison. Two of the game's best, Emmett Smith and Barry Sanders head-to-head -head here. Smith, 14 carries for 43 yards, but two of them for touchdowns. 87 yards in the first half for Barry Sanders. He has not had a particularly good season to this point, but he could be on his way to his third 100-yard rushing performance of the year. Miami up at Indianapolis 21 to nothing. Highlights from that game. Ted Marchabroda, the Colts coach, was hoping to sweep the season series. They had upset the Dolphins at Joe Robbie a couple of weeks ago. It doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Marino on the first possession for Miami rolls right, hits Keith Jackson for the two-yard TD, 7-0. Next time they had the ball, Mark Higgs caps the drive, breaks tackles, and bulls his way in from three yards out, and it's 14-0. To make matters worse for Indianapolis, Steve Entman, the outstanding rookie defensive lineman goes hobbling off sprained his left knee won't be back today the exact extent of the injury we don't know and Miami trying to go to seven and two up 21 nothing at the half New Orleans and New England it's the Saints trying to become seven and two as well and looking to send New England to a record of 0 and nine leading 21 seven at the half in Foxborough Bobby Abair has thrown three touchdown passes two of them to Quinn early Cleveland and Houston it's 10 nothing in favor of the Browns halftime at the Astrodome let's take a quick look at what's some of what's going on there and as you see someone has made the long trip from the dog pound in Cleveland to the Astrodome and something to bark about here. Tom Zach pumping, faking, and then finding Leroy Horde for the 46-yard touchdown. That put them up 10-0 combined with a 44-yard field goal by Matt Stover, and that's where they stand at the half. Minnesota could be 7-2 very shortly. Tampa Bay might lose their fifth in a row. They had a 3-1 start, but it looks like they're tumbling down here, losing 28-0 to the Vikings. They've just begun the third quarter. Two of the four touchdowns for Minnesota have been defensive scores, one on a fumble return the other on an interception in the Giants early in the third quarter at the Meadowlands leading 13-7 over the Packers. Okay, Juice, let's talk about the first half at the vet. Well, we can't fault anything that Jim McMahon has done up to this point. He looks very comfortable uh, in that offense, and they've scored uh, 17 points, so uh, that speaks for itself. I think the big question now is if this, if this game continues the way it's going, what is uh, Rich Kotyke going to do next week? He's already promised that he's going to start uh, Cunningham next week. Can you do that? <laughs> Well, I guess he can do anything he wants to. He's a coach. I well, guess. sure he can. I mean, he's made it pretty clear that uh, he's looking to clear Cunningham's head from his perspective and, and give him a different and fresh view of the game, and he will start him next week no matter what McMahon does. That's what Kotite says. Well, that's probably what he'll do then, you know. The young kid, though, from the Raiders, I think uh, he should be playing on Saturday uh, in college. You know, he's a senior in college, and uh, instead he's at the vet playing the toughest defense in the National Football League, having a terrible day, three turnovers. But I think Arshel is probably happy to go in at halftime, only 17-3 to with the field position and turnovers that the Raiders have had. Yeah, Marinovich would be just a senior at USC had he stayed in, and a nightmare first half for him. As great as the Eagle defense is, no matter how their offense sputters, you can never count them out. They could get to the Super Bowl or deep into the playoffs, even if Cunningham doesn't click the rest of the way. Well, Cunningham will click. He's a great talent. They just got to turn him loose and let him do his thing. Do you have reservations about Cunningham in big games? In playoff games and some big regular season games he hasn't no, come through? No, people, uh, you know, the first time we went to the playoffs against the Bears, he had about 600 yards total offense. We didn't have any touchdowns, but they weren't his fault. The next two years we went, we were beat up and crippled up, especially in the offensive line, and he didn't have very much of a chance, really. See, that game against the Bears was the one on the fog, right? Well, we had a I, fog game, yeah. I, I, I forgot about that because I couldn't <laughs> see any of it. It was like the game was played in Transylvania. But we got to take a commercial break here. When we come back, Gail Gardner will join us for a look at the upcoming Steelers-Bills game from a slightly different perspective. And we'll do it after this from your local stations. The Oprah guest stars on Fresh Prince. Your whole damn family is crazy. Don't miss Oprah. You got it, Oprah. On an all-new Fresh Prince. Oprah, Oprah. Hilarious NBC Monday. 
Wednesday, Seinfeld's new love has a mysterious secret. She's a virgin. She just told me. Well, I didn't know. Well, it's not like spotting a toupee. Then the newlyweds meet the tenant from hell. And it's Kramer? Hey, what happened to that Jerry guy used to live He's writing a sitcom for NBC. <laughs> Good luck to him. Kramer on Seinfeld and Mad About You. All new NBC Wednesday. Right now. I remember the last reunion, driving the old beater from college. But now, a gorgeous new 93 Taurus. Life is good. Quality plus savings, a quality plus deal. Win with a leader right now. I shouldn't get so hung up on appearances, but how do you show off dual-side airbags? Fall in love with the 93 Taurus at your Quality Plus 4 dealer. Right now. All the day's highlights and scores, Sunday Sports Wrap, tonight at 11.30. This is the Domino's Pizza NFL Live Halftime Report, brought to you by Domino's. Nobody knows like Domino's how you like pizza at home. Well, later on today, it's the Steelers and the Bills. The game most of you will see is the second part of the NBC doubleheader. Now, we've talked about this game from a strategic standpoint, but Gail Gardner's got a different angle. Different angle, a very, very personal angle, I would say. The town of East Brady, Pennsylvania, has a real dilemma today. After all, this is diehard Steeler territory, yet their hometown boy just happens to be one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL, but he's not a Steeler. Jim Kelly is one of six boys raised by a father who was an orphan himself and a spunky mother who has had to deal with emphysema for the last seven years. So when the Bills take the field at home against the Steelers today, it's a traumatic time for the town that brought us the Brady Bunch. I grew up in a town with 800 people outside of Pennsylvania, about 65 miles northeast of Pittsburgh. It was a town where there was no stoplights. At the time when I was going, the nearest mall was like 30 miles away. And you go into my town, you see a big sign welcoming people to East Brady Home with Jim Kelly. I didn't expect that, but growing up in the Pittsburgh area, growing up watching the Steelers win those Super Bowls all the time, I always said, maybe one of these days I can be put in that situation where you know my dream can come true and be an NFL quarterback, and then you never know. Well, his dream did come true. Its roots nurtured in the backyard of the Kelly household, where mom Alice would watch dad Joe give their six boys the athletic insight and encouragement he never had as a child. When Jim was a senior in high school, my brother and I, Kevin, were in 10th grade, and there's a lot of fun moments that year because uh, it would be Kelly passes to Kelly for a touchdown while Kelly was blocking, so that made it pretty interesting. Jim's a person that takes charge. He was always that way in high school, and and he is that way right now as I see him playing for the Buffalo Bills. Everybody uh, in this town here looked up to him and they still do and they follow his whole career and it just makes me feel good that the people are behind him. It's that career that's allowed Jim to provide so well for his family, something he does with great joy, especially for his mother. I tell you what, she's the greatest lady in the world and I love her so much and uh, just to see her face when I can do so many things for her, it makes it worthwhile. One problem the family does have is that they are long-standing Steeler fans, except of course when Jim is the opponent. I was watching the Steeler game on TV and then I'd watch the ticker tape to see how Buffalo was doing. I was having a hard feeling Buffalo wasn't doing anything. I was praying, please, God help Jim. Come on, God help the Steelers. And when the Steelers won, I left that one. yoo -hoo! I think the whole neighborhood heard me. Now, this week's going to be different. I don't want the Steelers to do that to us again. <laughs> Jim Steeler fans will be sitting and watching this game today very intently. What do you think they'll be thinking? In the Pittsburgh area? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take uh, the old East Brady Kelly's head off today. <laughs> we want to win, but I know from the people that grew up in my hometown, this is a game that they've been waiting for ever since the schedule came out. This is one that they put the big circle around. It's one where, you know, people are not going to want to miss. They're not going to want to get away from their uh, tube. They're going to stay tuned into this game. Well, East Brady's about a three-hour drive from Buffalo, and the Bills people tell us that roughly three to 4,000 of the 80,000 at Rich Stadium today will be from the general Pittsburgh area. Okay, Jim himself has had to provide 100 tickets for people, so 
right away you know there's a lot going on there and very, very exciting game for the whole family. And he's happy he's staying at the Bills Hotel, even though it's a home game because his friends and family people. are swarming all Too over his house. Too many people around, yeah. All right, time for us to clear out of here for a while. And if the live halftime activities will continue. Thank you, Gail. the second half at Veterans Stadium with the Eagles leading 17 to 3. Look at the statistics in just a moment uh, the first half and I think they'll reveal obviously that the defense is dominated. The score is a bit misleading. Yeah the three turnovers by the Los Angeles Raiders the great field position by the Philadelphia Eagles have really produced a 17 3 score. Actually the Eagles should be ahead by a lot more. Raiders have struggled except for the one drive with Jace Raider at quarterback. Um, the penalty certainly helped the Philadelphia Eagles to get the ball in the end zone but the sum total of the of the turnovers in the field position have produced this kind of score Dick. Jager takes it off and hits it hard and high. Sick the hammer. We'll take it out. Always a threat and he is drilled at the 24 yard line. Tackled by Napoleon McCallum. And let's look at the Keystone Coors halftime statistics. As you see, 21 yards rushing for a team that's averaging 142 a game through the first eight. And the total yards almost even. And the three turnovers, as Buddy Ryan pointed out at halftime, 17-3 uh, doesn't sound very good if you're a Raider fan, but uh, that's uh, not bad considering Absolutely. all the opportunities. And the field position, they are very fortunate to be just down by 14. They start out by giving the Keith Byers, who was the quiet man in the first half and did not play much, Ricky Ellison. He loves to fill the hole from that middle linebacker position makes the stop for the Raiders. Dick the point I think I would have to make about the uh, Philadelphia Eagles offense in the first half as you see the field position and what a part it's played in the game is that the Eagles have really gone with a lot of junk motion and, and reverses and fake reverses and fake draws. All of that plays into the comments made by Randall Cunningham. That's Zeke Bradkowski on the sideline. It, this is a more complicated offense. I want to go back to the one I ran two years ago. Play action. And the play going long. Caught and then intercepted by Eddie Anderson. Out of the hands of Calvin Wynn, our friend Barnett. And then Anderson, as they came to the turf, stolen away. So the Raiders have their first turnover. Barnett with the catch for a moment and then watch 33 Anderson. He does make the catch. And then it bounces off his helmet and Eddie Anderson uses Barnett as kind of a cushion, a cushion and puts it right back in his chest and the Raiders have the football. Long throw by McMahon serves almost as a punt but the Raiders pleased to have it at the 35 so quickly here in the second half. McMahon uh, made a good throw. Yes he did. Although again double coverage you know, safety and corner back there tough to make those completions but they did score a touchdown on that coverage. Thank to Dickerson Schrader starts the second half and throws one up for grabs. Oh my Eric Allen makes his second interception today and then hit from behind by Alexander Wright at the 45 of the Raiders. Ethan Horton the intended receiver but that ball just floated up there Horton had no chance not even close Dick from behind the defense play action fake fools no one see Horton right side of the screen that ball gets away and boy Allen is waiting on the thing that he and Rich Miano 38 were fighting over that interception <laughs> well, again the turnover fourth of the day against the Raiders and they have great Field position once again. From the 45. Personal Walker. Gets away from Howie Long. Whoa, what an open field tackle by cornerback Terry McDaniel. Oh, 180 cool. pounds, and he attacked Walker. Coaches encourage players on blocking and tackling to go to and through the man. Well, Terry McDaniel certainly got that message on this particular tackle. Watch him go by Herschel Walker to knock his legs out from underneath him. No game. 
McDaniel, much like Eric Allen of the Eagles. So good that you don't hear much about him because teams operate away from his side of the field. Man, this time goes into McDaniel's territory, and it's Fred Barnett with a catch and close to a first down. Third and one. Dick, again, the Los Angeles Raiders staying with the double rotation zone. McDaniel up. You got the safety right behind him. You'll see him come into the play. Eddie Anderson. They're doubling the outside, and that's the absence of Keith Jackson. No threat down the middle. I mean, you're not going to pay the same attention to Maurice Johnson and Pat Beach that you had to play to Keith Jackson. And these guys are getting double teamed on every snap down the field. And that's frustrated them. Cunningham isn't the only one who's been upset. <laughs> Barnett said, how can they let the best NFL tight end get out of here? Byers met by Winston Moss. I don't think he got the first down on third and one. But again, the luxury for Rich Kotite with his defense, you can go for it here. Leading by two touchdowns, 17 to three. Kotite will go for it. He tried a fake field goal, remember, in the first half. That did not work except that Andre Bruce of the Raiders committed a personal foul that gave the Eagles an extra four downs, and they eventually scored to take a 10-0 lead. Beach and Johnson, two tight ends in. Ten seconds on the play clock. Keith Sherman and Herschel Walker behind McMahon. Sherman, oh. second effort, might have. It's going to be close. Very close. Or oh, you could hear that collision all the way to the press level. It's unusual, I think, too, that the Philadelphia Eagles on uh, short yardage plays, they've run the same play twice. Heath Sherman carries it. Herschel Walker lead block to the right side of the offense. Boy, this is going to be very close. Only Sherman's second effort gave the Eagles this hope. He had been stopped right at the 35-yard line and then was able to twist away and gain that half yard. Is it enough for the first down? Yes. Eagles certainly making it tough on themselves. I mean, none of this is coming easy, Dick, offensively for them. And maybe this supports Randall Cunningham's argument that uh, he wants to go back to the offense of two years ago. Absolutely. He, he was telling us, look, when I ran, I had to run because I think I can run. McMahon is not known as a runner, but Randall made up for a lot of the inconsistencies in the offense with his athletic ability, running the ball. McMahon. Dropped by Aaron Wallace. Had it for a moment, and then it trickled out of his hands. He was in perfect position. Well, Cunningham, you talk about running, and of course McMahon in his early days with the Bears was a good runner, but Cunningham's a third leading rusher in Eagle history. Isn't that amazing? Had it almost a thousand yards rushing two years ago. Wallace and oh wait a minute, what's that? That ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. Looked by Willie, look Willie Broughton got his hand up there. Now, Wallace might have had that one going the other way. Broughton signed as a free agent number 97 in front of uh, Wallace playing a lot today. Myers cutting back. Juggling the ball as Howie Long makes the tackle. And Broughton blew the play up. He made Keith Byers cut back into Howie Long. So it's an easy tackle. Long will go across the line, along the line of scrimmage here. Now Broughton pushes him back inside. There's 97. Easy tackle for Howie Long. Man, this has been a struggle offensively for the Eagles. Well done, John Gonzalez, our director. John Ferretz is our producer, right on the play in a close-up fashion to appreciate that pinball game those 275 to 300 pounders play in the middle of that defense. Third down and nine. Townsend. Well, he got a taste of his first sack of the season in the first half. That's number two. Oh, this is awful. Easy for Townsend. He's on Anton Davis. The offensive right tackle. Townsend with great speed. He gets that great first step. 
and he is up the field and up the field in a hurry and right in McMahon's face before he can even set up to look downfield. You see, McMahon just barely got his feet set there. Townsend right there. Again, great field position. Nothing out of the Eagle offense. So Eric Allen's interception does not produce points, and Fiegel's hits this one perhaps too good. And the Raiders will take it at the 20 yard line with it a timeout 939 left in the third quarter. Why did Hertz invent number one club goal service to beat the rush hour. See every plane and everybody seems to land at once but with goal service there's no stopping at the counters and no paperwork. Instead you go nonstop to your waiting car with your name and lights. Only Hertz has number one club goal. The best reason yet why Hertz beats the rush hour. To Hertz the rest of the day is a piece of cake. Just when you thought you knew everything yes, you about Volvo. Devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are. The devil in disguise. Slowing down. That ain't you. Uh-uh. No, no. That's not you. Easy drinking beer. That silver bullet smooth. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Hertz Number One Club Gold. Hertz's fastest service now in more locations coast to coast. By Coors Light, the Silver Bullet is the right beer now. By New Hager Wrinkle Free Cotton Pants, 100% cotton, 0% wrinkles. And by Volvo. Volvo would like you to drive safely. Greg Townsend. Last couple of years says he shaves his head two times a week. It takes some working to keep that dome sweaty and polished. He's got two sacks today, and that last sack was key. It took uh, the Eagles out of a possible 50 yard field goal and forced the punt. And on the touchback, Los Angeles will put it in play at the 20 yard line, trailing 17 to 3. Raider possessions, eight, and four of them have ended with interceptions. Goodness. And they're still in the game if they get something going on this drive. Against a very talented defense. Dickerson. A lot of work for three yards. Reggie White chased him down. But that is a great advantage if you can get Eric Dickerson running sideways towards the uh, Towards the sideline, we'll take four or five yards. And check the other scores here on the midpoint of this NFL season. On second and six. Dropped by Ethan Horton. Tough catch, but it was there. Well, again, pressure. Pressure constantly by this Eagle defense on Jay Schrader. Watch when he sets up bottom of the screen. 59 Seth Joyner again, Eric Dickerson. Huge mismatch. And it just flushes Schrader a little bit, makes him throw it a little quick. Pressure comes from everywhere on this Eagle defense. There's a testimony to the Eagles pressure tactics. Schrader two for six passing. This is a third and six play and he goes deep downfield. No one there overshoots Tim Brown. Well they are insistent on that pattern. The matchup they're looking for again Tim Brown on John Booty. And there's help by Rich Miano 38 is. 
There was decent pressure that time by the Eagles. Not a whole bunch, but another outstanding series by the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, defense. Boy, this is repetitive. And remember, this is a defense without a starting cornerback of a year ago, Ben Smith, without Andre Waters, one of the renowned hitters in the NFL at safety, out with a broken leg. And uh, a defense is playing with uh, one of their better men, Seth Joyner, with a knee brace. And they lose Jerome Brown, a defensive tackle. Boy, Buddy Ryan really put together some defensive thoroughbreds. Sick to him, you saw his head snap back as he was belted, but gets to the 47, a 40 yard punt, 18 yards for Sikahema. As you look at Reggie White and company, the defense has been the Philadelphia story today. September 1957. Road and track on the Volvo 444. With a car like this. A sports car. October 1992. History repeats itself. The temperature never drops below Xerox. That's very important to remember at a time like this when it's very cold and you've got to get going. Ah, you did remember Xerox antifreeze. The temperature never drops below Xerox. When regular drills hold you back, send in the Ranger cordless drill from Black & Decker. It goes anywhere to handle all the tough jobs. No strings attached. The Ranger cordless drill, a powerful gift idea from Black & Decker. This Magnavox portable CD player with pure digital sound is the best thing to take on vacation. Unless you compare it with this clever Magnavox 5-inch TV, great pictures of anywhere. Of course, the best is this compact yet intelligent Magnavox camcorder with autofocus. Unless you take this Magnavox 3-inch LCD TV, which connects to my camcorder so I can watch my vacation on the ride home. Looks as though I had a pretty good time. The ingenious products from Magnavox. They're smart, very smart. Another chance for Rich Kotite's Eagles who start in Raider territory. Nine possessions in the game. Philadelphia has started six of those on the Raider half of the field. And yet they only have 17 points. Absolutely remarkable. Well, you got to give uh, credit to the Raider defense, too. It's not just all the uh, offense not working. I agree with you, but... Richie Kotite and his offense, they've established nothing today offensively. Zero. So maybe it's more than the quarterback problem. But man, wide open is Calvin Williams. An acrobatic catch and a punishing tackle at the 31-yard line from Terry McDaniel. That was great concentration on the football. Slight play action holds Ricky Ellison, number 50. McMahon with a nice touch here. He knows he's going to get hit. First thing it hits is the back of his helmet. He jumps right up. It's the slot man running the corner underneath the zone coverage. Now that play has worked. Can you think of another play that consistent has consistently worked for Philadelphia no, today? No, your points no. well taken. Four catches, 49 yards for Williams. To the tailback, give it to the fullback. Nebraska runs that play. 30 yards for the score. Heath Sherman's first touchdown romp of the season. And he hooks it through. It's 24 to 3. Why did it work? Well, Eagles obviously give the ball to 34. Watch the arms go out like he's handing it to 34. The defense overruns the play. 50, Ricky Ellison overruns the play. The cutback, the missed tackle by Eddie Anderson, and Heath Sherman 
goes 46 yards for the score. Liberty Mutual presents Legends of the Game. He was on the throwing end of the legendary alley-oop pass of the 50s. But while that was just a passing fancy, this quarterback was known for his fancy passing. A two-time most valuable player, he threw for over 30,000 yards and 242 touchdowns. Who was this legend? She was the paper's best writer. Now she can't finish a sentence without pain. She has a debilitating hand injury caused by repetitive motion. So Liberty Mutual is helping customers redesign their workstations to reduce the pain and lost work days. Because we don't want her to report a story like this ever again. At Liberty Mutual, we're facing the issues that face our customers. Y.A. Tittle led the Giants to three consecutive title games while authoring a Hall of Fame career, a true legend of the game. Now save 25% on selected Goodyear all-season radials for cars and light trucks. Save 25% on Invicta GS. Save 25% on Wrangler AT and HT. That's right, save 25%. Where? Goodyear. When? Now. From Francis Ford Coppola. Gary Oldman. Winona Ryder. Anthony Hopkins. Keanu Reeves. Ah! Bram Stoker's Dracula. Rated R at Theaters Friday. While the Eagles have lost three of their last four, they have not been defeated here at Veteran Stadium. So they're going for 5-0, and oh, and that's very important to Rich Kotite. He talked to us about that. In fact, if the Eagles could go through a season at home unbeaten, it'd be the first time since 1948 when they won the NFL championship. 1948? Well, you had a lot of time here today to be doing some work. Steve Van Buren, Tommy <laughs> Thompson, Pete Pijos, Greasy Neal. Alexander Wright, a speed burner. Out of bounds at the 34-yard line. William Frizzell, reactivated, reacquired by the Eagles, pushed him out. Dick, from behind the offense, it's the full, it's the tailback pitch, but watch what happens. Excellent blocking here. They get a double and rub on Allison, and when the, when the running back cuts back here, I mean, he just, he's totally behind the defense. Watch 50. Ricky Allison overruns. Heath Sherman, missed tackle by Eddie Anderson. You saw Gunther Cunningham on the sideline talking to Ellison, talking to Eddie Anderson. Boy, that's a beautiful play. Now the Eagles have opened it up with a 24-3 lead. And straight under pressure throws through a crowd. Seth Joyner had a hand on it. Ooh, I, Tim Brown did not look in the mood for that one. Second half of our doubleheader. Stay with us. The Steelers and the Bills with six and two marks square off at Rich Stadium, San Diego, back in the fight. Four and four against the Chiefs, surprisingly, disappointingly for their fans, four and four. And the Jets trying to feed off the win against Miami as they traveled a mile high against Denver. Denver, the leaders in the West. Schrader now two for eight for only 30 yards. And he has this. He starts to scramble and then throws low and outside to Willie Gold. Well, defenses can do a lot of things to you physically and they show on the field. But what this defense does to you psychologically, I'm talking about the Eagles defense, just takes you out of the mood. I mean, the, the Raiders have had bad field position. They've given up the four turnovers. And Bud Carson on the sideline. I mean, this is a perfect game for the defense. He's finally getting some support from the offense. You, know, you mentioned earlier in the game that Carson thought these were the best coverage linebackers he'd ever coached until you brought up Jack Ham's name. Well, I, he said as a group thing. And, and so, well, Ham, Lambert, Cole, or uh, Russell were very good, but these three are the best I've ever coached. Underneath the right. Breaks a tackle and has a first down out at the 49-yard line. Alexander Wright's first catch as a Raider. Make that his first today. He's got two. I, I believe he's the player. He's the player, if I'm not mistaken, when uh, we talked to Al Davis earlier this season. What do I need another wide receiver for? And two weeks later from the Dallas Cowboys, a former second-round draft choice. Oh! Alexander Wright shows up in a Raider uniform. Finally being used uh, today as that third wide receiver has his first two catches in Los Angeles. So from the 49. Uh -huh. Dickerson 
takes one step and then is devoured by Reggie White with Seth Joyner picking up the scraps. Say amen, brother. A, an ordained Baptist minister just shoving Reggie McElroy out of the way. Oops, no, you're not going here, son. This is as far as this particular journey goes. Actually, nice picture, arm not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's so understated oh, in the city of brotherly yeah. love. This guy is a man. And down 13. Nice throw. And it's Ethan Horton, the tight end, close to the yardsticks. It'll be a yard a shy of a first down on a 13-yard pickup. Eric Allen, the cover man for the Eagles. And here comes Marcus on third down. Now that catch by Ethan Horton, I kind of thought coming into this game that Ethan Horton would be a busy guy. That's his first catch of the game. The reason I ask is against Dallas, the Cowboys threw the ball to Jay Novacek a lot in this underneath zone coverage of the Philadelphia Eagles, and they were successful. Horton just his first catch of the day. I'm really surprised. They could get a first down right now if they snapped the ball. Eagles had 12 in on the field, but Trader didn't notice it. Marcus Allen diving, he's got it at the 40-yard line. Allen now 32 years of age, needs three more touchdowns to hit the 100 mark. Dickerson needs five, and he'd be at, five, at 100 as well. Uh, the amazing thing about Marcus Allen, in my estimation, is if, if you polled all the Raiders that have been around the Raiders since Marcus Allen got there, I think most would say that Marcus Allen is a, an Al Davis type player and yet there is something amiss between the two. I do not for the life of me understand it. Allen with 23 yard rushing. Uh, Dickerson hit back of the game with 28. Oh that's a duck. Well, they call it an incomplete pass as Schrader threw it right out of his own hand oh. into the ground as a Reggie will testify uh, to the play. He was closest. Well, they're going to call it an incomplete pass, but I, I don't know how you can't call this intentional grounding. You see the referee right there. Now, his idea is to protect the quarterback. He's not really watching the rest of the field, but I mean, Jay gets away with one there. I mean, this, yeah, his arm is going for it. No question about that. And he didn't want that thing to get loose. Now, there was no intent there. It wasn't like he threw it right down at the feet of White. Now, Schrader, although he's been intercepted once, the Marinovich is three. His number is not very impressive. So Dickerson barely had time to catch that before William Thomas said hello. That'll bring up third and uh, about five. Every play we see the Raiders run, for the most part, when the ball gets to the receiver, there's at least one Philadelphia Eagle there, sometimes two, and very often three. As White, the number 59, Seth Joyner, Buddy Ryan will be pleased to know that uh, Seth Joyner still talks about Ryan. He says, this isn't a nice guy game. You're supposed to hit him and walk over and not help him up. He says, we're, we've got to be more intimidating. Wright has his third catch, but he'll be shy of a first down as Izell Jenkins, an extra defensive back, makes the stop. They'll, whoa, good spot at the 31, but it'll leave the Raiders one yard shy of a first down. Brings up fourth. I don't think Arch Hill has any choice in this situation. He's uh, talking with Terry Robisky there on the sideline. Looks like an extra tight end. Do we see Marcus Allen again? In comes David Jones, who is kind of a half and half, a tight end wide receiver type. And Marcus. Uh-oh. And time running out on Schrader. Allen, who else? And it'll depend on the spot. It looked as if he made it to the 30. That would be a first down. But they're spotting it to show, oh, way short of the 30. And uh, based on the linesman's left foot, I don't think Marcus made it. Not even close. Again, though, a crucial play, and the guy that carries is it carries it is Marcus Allen, the guy they don't want out there. But under limited circumstances, and the clock's running down, they were late getting the play in. And uh, you know, it's part of the blame of the if this one did fail has to go to the sidelines. Yep. 
seemed they had trouble even they weren't really set in the formation with four seconds to go on the play clock and there's the difference. Goodness. And the Eagles get the cheers from their fans the defense and the defense has earned it. Hi, Super Dave Osborne here with Hager wrinkle-free cotton pants. They look great right out of the dryer with no ironing, but Hager's asked me to put them to the ultimate test. I'll wear these pants through high-pressure jets, brushes, and dryers at three miles per hour. Ready? Oh, we're out of time. I guess Hager will have to pay me for another commercial. Maybe not! Oh! Oh! Uh oh! New Hager wrinkle-free cottons. 100% cotton, 0% wrinkles. They're still not wrinkled! You're married, two kids, one on the way, a house, a dog, five on the way, loads of other responsibilities too numerous to count. And you want this. Doesn't make sense. But here is an interesting alternative that does. The new Volvo 850 GLT. leading 24-3 thanks to a brilliant defensive effort again for Philadelphia and Los Angeles knows how difficult it will be to rally because the Raiders all season long have not scored more than 21 points so things not looking well uh, on the black and silver or silver and gray as uh, some are calling the Raiders who are the oldest team in the league. Marshall Walker for a couple up the middle. So from Philadelphia, let's go to NFL Live. And Bob, uh, Bill Belichick, does he know defense? Probably up 28 hours last night figuring out what to do against the Houston Oilers. The Giants gift to Cleveland. <laughs> Second down, Heath Sherman. The touchdown maker, by the way, is 30-yard touchdown run, the longest of the year, longest run of the season for Philadelphia. And Jim McMahon, of course, uh, quarterback controversy is a game that the media loves to play. It's good fodder, but uh, based on what I've seen, if I can throw a vote in, I don't see any reason why Rich Kotite wouldn't keep his promise, and uh, Randall Cunningham will be the quarterback in Green Bay next Dick, week. absolutely. Next week's choice of the starting quarterback has nothing to do with the football team, Randall Cunningham or Jim McMahon. It is the promise. Next week, Rich Kotite keeps a promise, tells the truth, puts his quarterback, Randall Cunningham, back in the lineup. Walker struggles and has the first down at the 42-yard line. Now, that won't make Jim McMahon very happy. Well, but one of the things that I'm sure you'll remember when we were talking to uh, the Eagle players, we asked about Buddy Ryan. And uh, they all said he was up front with us. He told us the truth. Truth. He never tried to trick us. Even well, if we didn't like the truth. Yeah. Well, Rich Kotite has the opportunity to tell the truth next week. I mean, coaches do have to kind of bend things. And Kotite thought overnight about whether or not Cunningham starts this week. Told him on Monday you're not. And next week he just simply keeps a promise to Randall Cunningham. He said, "Is my man's in a slump? It's like a hitter. I'm not gonna let you face these pitchers. We'll give you a rest uh, this series." And you start next week. First down, Walker. And the Eagles are running with more enthusiasm now as we're down to the final minute of the third quarter. 
Nice little counter run by the Philadelphia Eagles. If you want to continue talking about Randall Cunningham, uh, McMahon told us normally Randall takes 100% of the snaps during the week. This week he took 50% of the snaps. Even though McMahon was the starting quarterback, yeah. he didn't get all the uh, reps. And he says, I don't mind. I I'm not a big practice guy. I watch film. You know, I, I kind of get in my head what we're going to do. Not even a good film guy. No, he's I don't not. like to watch film. No. He plays dominoes, goes out with the offensive lineman, hangs out with the family and kids. He says, uh, he said, Dicta thought I did all those things just to make him crazy. He said, I just like to amuse myself. I wasn't trying to upset Mike. No. <laughs> we'll be back after these messages from your local station. Tonight, Michael J. Fox and James Woods in the buddy movie of the year. You a maniacal little cockroach. What am I doing? The television premiere, The Hard Way, NBC Tonight. Since the Honda Accord is America's best-selling car, why would you want to lease one? Well, for one thing, you won't have to drop a lot of cash. Introducing the Accord Lease Program. See your nearest dealer for details. Silo presents Carl Lewis. When your camcorder jumps around, so does a picture, and that's bad. But this Panasonic Palm Quarter camcorder has digital image stabilization. Okay, switch it on. See? It holds a picture steady, even if your hand jumps around this much. The Panasonic Palm Quarter is VHS, so its taste can play in your VHS recorder and everyone else's. And now it's available at Silo. The Panasonic Palm Quarter. On sale now at Silo. It's said that by the end of this century, Japan will have a stranglehold on the technology for automobiles, semiconductors, fiber optics, steel, and half the new patents in the world. Isn't it ironic? When Japan needed the technology for a new stock market, they found it in a stock market Americans have had for 20 years. The NASDAQ stock market. Howard Eskin with sports. Weekdays on Newsday. Young Todd Marinovich, 23 years old, free spirit, much like Jim McMahon. Their personality is uh, comparable. Will he be the quarterback next Sunday in the Coliseum when the uh, Raiders host Seattle? Learning every week, he says. The Eagles and their defense have been at the head of the class at the vet today. Not a first down, it'll bring up third and uh, less than a yard. Jim McMahon did the game for NBC, uh, let's see, it's eight years ago now, goodness. When McMahon and the Raiders, it's the most vicious hitting game I've ever seen. And that was where the quarterbacks, the Raiders, were being carted off one after another. David Hum broke a jaw and a leg or something all in one play. McMahon seemed to be not as seriously injured and almost died. Had a ruptured kidney. He said he didn't know how bad it was. They tried to remove his kidney, and uh, he argued with the doctor that wouldn't let him do it. Talked him out of it. Five lacerations of his kidney. I mean, it, it was his, his, the, the body cavity was filling up with, with blood, and this guy, he, could, he went back into the game, which is unbelievable. Well, he's, in many ways, he is an unbelievable type. <laughs> For whatever reason, a timeout called uh, by the Eagles. Wouldn't it be great if you could afford a luxurious mansion? For you and all your friends? Of course the place needed some updates. Like a bowling alley. And a pool table. Naturally you'd have an open house. Food dear! With beer! Carol, do something! Icy cold filtered Keystone, Keystone Light, and Keystone Dry. Bottle beer taste in a can. Now wouldn't that be great? Darling, I need you so. Never ever gonna let you go. Cause I'm the one, one for you. Hey, hey, hey. I'm the one. Capture the ones you love one without you. missing out on the fun yourself Baby. with a Sony Handycam, America's most popular camcorder. Bye. 
this time we get it. STP gas treatment. Cleans intake valves and fuel injectors to help engines run better. STP, the edge. If your face was square, shaving would be simple, but your face has curves. Presenting the revolutionary Schick Tracer. The only twin blade razor that flexes to follow the curves of your face. Schick Tracer, we're changing the face of shaving. Wednesday, does a videotape always show the truth? It was self-defense. It was an execution. Torn from today's headlines and all new Law & Order NBC Wednesday. Well, the Raiders' quality for so many years, their all-time rusher, Marcus Allen. He would be a perfect acquisition next year for the Philadelphia Eagles. A great compliment to Randall Cunningham. How about the 49ers? Uh, them, too. A lot of teams would be interested in using Marcus Allen a lot more than the Raiders do. There was a rumor San Francisco wanted Allen. This is a third and one, and Herschel Walker pulling his way easily for the first down to the Los Angeles Raider 44-yard line, and the clock will run. 14 minutes to go in a day which the Eagles have survived uh, their star quarterback, Randall Cunningham, having a week off. Uh, he makes a... Uh, Approximately $125,000 a game, and so he'll yeah. just uh, go to the bank with a smile and say, hey, guess, got a feeling that next week everything will all be patched okay, up, yep. except that McMahon might stir the pot a little. No, he no, might. He huh? would If I were a writer, I'd go to McMahon no. about Wednesday. I bet I'd get a story. Well, you, he would do that? <laughs> well, he might be on the sideline next week with a uh, band that says Randall on the front of it. You never know. There's Mr. Howie Long. Saying I can play a little D myself. Yeah, you, you know, Dick, you, you, you mentioned Howie Long has played an excellent game. I mean, a lot of things have not worked well for the Los Angeles Raiders, but Long has played possessed. Makes the tackle on Herschel Walker. You mentioned uh, Randall Cunningham. When we came in here, we thought the the world, the world had stopped for Randall Cunningham. But the first time we walked into the locker room, he was playing video football against Herschel Walker. Enjoying himself in his own surroundings. We asked uh, how to go on the uh, video football game since I won. First good thing that's happened to me this week. <laughs> on second down. Out of the backfield to Sherman. Had a good throw by Sherman, who has an excellent touchdown run and makes something out of very little. It'll be third down and about three. We've seen a lot of Heath Sherman. The only comment I can make for the absence of Keith Byers maybe that broken hand that he's wearing uh, that he's had to deal with his right, right hand. hand yeah has a cast outside of a little glove may be bothering him normally this guy on offense does not leave the field he is left-handed so he's able to play and it doesn't hamper him as much as uh, if he were a right-handed uh, player but uh, this might be co tight with a lead giving uh, an important right. player a rest right. yep. Third down, Walker, and it was Nolan Harrison, but the tackle made by Aaron Wallace as the play misfires, and the Eagles will have to punt it to Los Angeles. Uh, I don't understand what's keeping these people here in the stands. Maybe on the sunny side, they're very nice and warm. I'm not sure. I, I guess they're here to see the Eagles go 5-0 at home in 1992. There are some places where people uh, pay a healthy price to go see an NFL game and leave in the third period. But these are fans in Philadelphia. Hardy fans. You're talking about West Coast people who leave. I didn't say where. <laughs> you said. <laughs> I've got to go back to the West Coast. Leave me alone. Tim Brown at the, I never leave early, 13-yard line. And they sit and smile in Philly. Art historians will tell you it isn't unusual for a masterpiece to have been painted directly on top of another equally impressive painting, which itself was often painted on top of a third. This masterpiece, however, is the result of an exclusive 23-step paint process, the Acura Legend. Our intention was not merely to create a thing of beauty, but to create one that will stand the test of time. In my business, my hair has to look great, and even one flake is one too many. So I use new head and shoulders. It gets to 10 times more the places where dandruff starts. New head and shoulders, because great hair can't have flakes.
Here's how the mind reacts to two pizzas for $5.99. Shock, disbelief, denial, and finally, acceptance. Now at Little Caesars, two pizzas for $5.99. Doozy doozy. If your business relies on 800 service, you may think of your phone line as your lifeline. So choosing AT&T 800 service is important. With another carrier, you could lose more 800 calls day in and day out, and they're twice as likely to have an outage. But relax. With AT&T, the most reliable 800 service, you can get more 800 sales and a healthier bottom line. The NFL on NBC is brought to you by Acura Automobiles. Experience precision-crafted performance. By Castrol GTX, engineered for today's smaller cars. By new improved head and shoulders. Now it works even better to prevent flakes. And by AT&T, the right choice. Face of Philadelphia. Fans, now those are the real fans. Oh. Even the Raider fans down by three touchdowns from this area stay to the end. 11 minutes to go, and Schrader goes long for right. Almost number five, John Booty. Boy, did you see right, though, in about the last 15 yards. Just pull away. Did he shoot into the open? Booty had him covered, played him five yards ahead until now. And you can certainly tell the respect. Scouting reports are given to players, and, and Booty knows how fast Alexander Wright was. The minute the ball was snapped, he was backing up hard. <laughs> Not going to get by me. Well, they like that stretch. Goodness. Long, long pass, and uh, Schrader. Look at that, only 73 yards total passing offense for the Raiders today. Schrader, oh, not close. Ethan Horton was open. Schrader was moving away from pressure. Uh, Bud Carson, the defensive coordinator of the Philadelphia Eagles, has kind of called off the dogs here on his defense, and the Raiders still can't make a completion. Bud Carson, who had a chance finally to be a head coach for the Browns, not successful, but uh, recognized around the league as uh, one of the Really brilliant defensive coordinators and always has been. Let me, let me tell you something. After this play, let me tell you something about Buck Carson. Look at some of his pupils. The Steel Curtain. How about the Rams in the late 70s? Uh, reflected at the line of scrimmage. Reggie White in on top of Jay Schrader. And then Mike Floor is there as well. There's White, the Minister of Defense. That's on Todd Pete, 64, help from most bar, still able to get his hands up. You wonder why his sack total is not higher? That's two monsters, right? That's 650 pounds of meat in front of Reggie, and he still has an effect on the outcome of the play. Eagles opponent next Sunday, losing to the Giants 13 to 7 in the fourth quarter. Short kick. Bassett has not had a good day. Ball down at the 40 yard line. So the Eagles once again begin action in Los Angeles territory. Three games uh, yet to come, and here's the lineup. Most of you will see the Steelers and the Bills, two of the top teams in the AFC. San Diego, four in a row from an 0 4 start for Bobby Ross at Kansas City, where Mar Marty Schottenheimer is trying to get the Chiefs back in gear. And the New York Jets, such a disappointing season, but a big win against Miami, against the top team in the West, the Denver Broncos. Stay with us. Those games follow here on our doubleheader weekend. Rich Kotite, who is a University of Miami boxing champion. His dad was a manager of fighters in Brooklyn. He grew up around the various gyms. So he got in a ring with Kid uh, Gavilan? No, no, with Muhammad Ali actually. Sparred with Ali at one time, but Gavilan was uh, his favorite as a kid growing up. The bolo punching Kid Gavilan. Doesn't look like uh, your ex fighter, you know? Not enough. Didn't take enough punches. Yeah, not enough bend in that nose. <laughs> but uh, it tells you about his personality. Though. Yes. This coaching staff 
is basically an AFC coaching staff. Richie was with the New York Jets for a number of years. Zeke Bradkowski, of course, coached with the Jets. Bud Carson with, with the Jets. A, a lot of AFC connection on this Philadelphia Eagles coaching staff. Second and six for McMahon as the Eagles with a 24-3 cushion. Give it to Heath Sherman for maybe a yard. Ronnie Lott comes up to make the tackle along with Willie Broughton. This has to kill Ronnie Lott. Being in this situation too often this season, actually including last year with the Los Angeles Raiders, this is not what he came to the Los Angeles Raiders to be a part of. When they asked him about coaching, uh, the name Bill Walsh came up and he, he was free to admit, he said, you know, for many years I didn't understand Bill Walsh, didn't agree with him. He said, now I do. Yeah. Now I understand. He was on another level. He was so far ahead of where my thinking process happened to be at the time. Well, I guess when you get closer to the end of your athletic career, you start to reassess those people you come in contact with and understand them a little better. Man, going long. Lots of uh, push and shove between Lionel Washington and Fred Barnett, but no flag. Now, I'm not sure the fans should be booing here. There was as much contact offense to defense as there was defense to offense. Just let it go. Go back in the huddle. Watch the left arm of Barnett. Yes, sir. So the fans don't have the benefit of slow motion instant replay. Although Washington wasn't exactly playing the ball. And uh, Fiegel's and the punting team come on. Tim Brown for the Raiders at the 10. And uh, they'll take the delay a game. Gives us a chance just to duck in a little note just to follow up on uh, the Ronnie Lodd, Bill Walsh. And then Will Rogers has said that after he was 21, Every day of his life, his father became all the smarter, and someday I may even forgive him. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, it's true of Lot here now at the end of his tremendous career, and perhaps the consummate defensive back, certainly his place reserved in Canton, Ohio, that uh, he understands more and now the growing respect for some of those that he might have fought as a, a leader. Finkel's aiming for the coffin corner, but uh, lands in the end zone. Los Angeles Raiders will get another opportunity down by 21. When your engine is working hardest and needs protection most, Casserole GTX is the only leading motor oil that meets the world's toughest requirements for viscosity breakdown in every grade. Fact is, the only way you can get that kind of performance from any other leading brand of oil is like this. Castrol GTX, engineered for today's smaller cars. Try Castrol Super Clean for tough, greasy jobs. If it won't come clean with Super Clean, it won't come clean. Some automakers would have you believe that total isolation from the road is the ultimate luxury. But the Acura legend was designed for a very different type of driver. One who believes that if a luxury car completely isolates you from the driving experience, it isn't really a driving experience. My last business trip was the, of nowhere. the most unusual the middle of place. Nowhere. Every day, two million travelers set out to do business. Travel. Last year I traveled 65 days. days. Who would know better what they need than Holiday Inn? I always rehearse my presentation. I always rehearse my presentation. I always in front of the bedroom the bathroom mirror. We make them feel welcome in so many ways. Maybe that's why more business travelers stay with us than anyone else. What I miss, what most, I miss most is my children. children. Holiday Inn. Stay with someone you know who really knows you. One's an actor, one's a cop. Now they're stuck with each other. No way on earth I am going to babysit some Hollywood rump ring. I'm sensing that you're not completely happy with this situation. There's something a little different about our car. You can't trust your partner. Who can you trust? The television premiere, Michael J. Fox and James Woods, The Hard Way, tonight on NBC. Eagles 24, the Raiders 3. The defense has been key to the success of the home team. and. But Carson's group has uh, played as expected. Very tough at home. I 
have a feeling Rich Coach, I talked to Bud Carson about benching his quarterback. I'll tell you why in a minute. Schrader looking for something and can't find Tim Brown. Eric Allen looking for the hat trick has two interceptions already. When uh, Bud Carson was the head coach of the Cleveland Browns, uh, he made the decision to pull Bernie Kosar from a football game and put Mike Pagel in as a starter. Uh, this was after a Friday practice and before a Sunday game. He got fired. They were not having a particularly good season, but he did not inform Art Modell and was held accountable for that. And the next Tuesday, he was gone. That's why I think Richie Kotak may have gone to Bud Carson and said, uh, counsel me through this. What should I do? Well, this is just uh, a game now where you wonder who's going to catch each ball. The Eagles seem to have a, almost an equal chance at everything that's in the air. And the Raiders should know where it's going. And uh, the Eagles just following the action and uh, look at the numbers nine completions on the entire day for the combined attack out of twenty nine chances nine for twenty nine nine completions four interceptions goodness and there have been uh, four or five others the Eagle defenders Very had their hands on yeah. five straight balls hitting the ground for Schrader steps away from Reggie White. Allen runs him out at the 25 yard line. Well the only quarterback controversy in Los Angeles will be whether Vince Evans will start. Oh. Vince Evans who has been off and on the Raider payroll uh, <laughs> more times than uh, a bad tightrope walker in a circus. I mean he just <laughs> up and down and up and down. <laughs> wait 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 wait. You're not getting out. Is this a swipe at the Seattle Seahawks? No, Starting next week. Like you're using the hands to the face. No, Number 64 all. on the offense. The penalty is declined. The result of the play, fourth down. No, it's just a matter. You got to think as Pete gets the penalty that uh, the Todd Marinovich, uh, they'll return home in the Coliseum. It'll be nice, warm weather, the friendly confines, and uh, Marinovich, the young quarterback, based on what's happened today to Schrader, will be back uh, as a starter, don't you think? Yeah, actually, actually, uh, Todd Marinovich might have helped USC yesterday. Against Stanford, more than he's helped the Raiders today against the Eagles. Kicked by Gossett to Sikahima. They overrun as Elvis Patterson, the kick. And uh, Sikahima to the 47 yard line, a 37 yard punt, nine yard return. A long day for that man. Yo, this is Jazzy Jeff. And how did I get my starter hat to look like this? The Jazzy Jeff breakdown. First, you grab the hat. Then you grip the hat. Then you flip the hat. Make sure it's a starter hat. Then you raise the hat. Then you slam the hat. Then you twist the hat. Then you turn the hat. Then you spin the hat. Then you smooth the hat. But hey, don't forget, look for the star. Some of us are self-cleaning. Some of us aren't. Clean, not so clean. Groomed. Oh well. Oddly enough, it's the same with water heaters. Some don't care how messy they are. But state water heaters self-clean with a patented way to prevent harmful sediment buildup. And since they use natural gas, they heat water for half the cost of electricity. For those other self-cleaners. Clean natural gas. America's best energy value. No, 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 no. That's too big. <laughs> Oh, that's too weird. Ah, uh, too many tickets. Ah, the 1993 Acura Integra. Just the right amount of comfort, styling, and performance. And starting at around $13,000, it's not too expensive either. She's from the future. She can assume any form. And she's evil. Now she's finally here. Make love to me, Sam. And Sam's in too deep. Tell me that you don't want me. To stop. She's evil. The Evil Leaper Lands, Quantum Leap, NBC Tuesday. The Eagles 24, the Raiders 3. And 
And uh, if you're just joining us, uh, the score does not reflect any offensive explosion under Jim McMahon, the quarterback who has replaced Randall Cunningham, but more the defense of the Eagles totally shutting out the Raiders and giving the Eagles excellent opportunities to score. McMahon close enough to Sherman to avoid the penalty and Howie Long, a, a ray of bright uh, Los Angeles sunshine on this Philadelphia day on defense. Uh, he has played a big game. And we have an injured player for the Raiders. Nolan Harrison, 74, I think, is on the ground, but I think it's a testimonial to the uh, to the character of one Howie Long. Things are not going well for his defense. He never stops trying. If you look at the other scores, the Giants uh, adding to their lead against the Packers. Looked like Harrison was starting to get up and then just fell back down as if he might have taken either a blow to the head or a knee or a leg gave out. Can't really tell. He's got both legs bent. Normally, if there's something wrong with a leg or a knee, uh, see if he's limping at all there. George Anderson. And the sunglasses on the right. Last year as the trainer of the Los Angeles Raiders, been there for a thousand and fifty years, or thirty-three. He's walking. Yeah, it looks as if he might have been hit in the helmet. Oh, I, I think he got KO'd by Ron Heller. I think we found out Harrison may be a great player, but watch what happens with Heller. Latter stages of this particular pass rush. He gets a shot right to the chin right there in uh, Richie Kotype's terms. That's called a glass jaw, I think. On the button. Marshall Walker across the 50 to the Raider 47. Winston Moss and others with a tackle. So what do the Raiders build on from here? What, 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 what have they done? Is there something to take in the next week's game or for the rest of the season to start the second half of, the, of this 92 season? They're going to be three and six. They're in a division that seems to be uh, begging for someone to take grasp and be uh, the top team. Denver is five and three. Denver should lose to the Jets. The Raiders, even with this performance day, are only two games out of first place. <laughs> Slingshot Schneiderman said the one thing they can take out of here is they don't have to come back to Philadelphia. <laughs> That's good news. <laughs> that is good news. McMahon wide open. Sikahema. Flag is down as Sikahema has a first down at the 25. Does it count? That looked more like Randall Cunningham, didn't it? Rolling out there, throwing that thing down the field. It was not very pretty. Had a certain amount of end over end to it. Yeah, he's a Jim McMahon, a rebel of sorts. Let's see what happens. Holding number 36 in the defense prior to the completion of the pass. The penalty will be declined. The result of the play, first down. Terry McDaniel trying to hold one of the receivers. So the play will count at the 25-yard line. First down, Eagles. Here's McDaniel right here going down the field. Yeah, there's the holding. It's on Roy Green 81. Sikahama makes the completion. 22-yard pickup. And the uh, list of positive things for the Raiders out of this game getting shorter and shorter. Dick. Seven minutes to go. Fake to Herschel Walker. Good fake by McMahon. Now he has to hurry his throw to Barnett. Incomplete. Barnett for the third time. Just a half step from a touchdown. Uh, McMahon rolled out. Cunningham would have run that ball for 20 yards. McMahon threw it. That, that is the magic part of Randall Cunningham. Just an elegant runner. Well, he's the all-time rushing quarterback. Has passed the Hall of Famer Fran Tarkenton, and he did in less than seven years. Would have took Targ 18 to scramble to. The, 
Montgomery and Steve Van Buren have run for more yards to the Eagles than a quarterback. Come on. Keith Sherman. Down at the one yard line. Ronnie Lund saved the touchdown. So Sherman, a 30 yard touchdown run earlier and 24 on this one. Again, the Statue of Liberty play, and we should be able to see it perfectly. Watch him fake like the pass. Hands the Heath Sherman. Runs by Andre Bruce, 56. Fakes out. Lionel Washington, 48. This guy's not used to carrying the ball this much. Lot puts him on the ground along with Anthony Bell, 59. First and goal in Philadelphia. He had 86 yards on the season, Heath Sherman. And he's got 66 today. Well, you ought to give him a chance for another touchdown. Yeah, absolutely. Think. That's only justice. Nope, it's Herschel. Touchdown. Walker's second of the game. Both from a yard out. Oh, Dick, this score is 30 to 3. And with the field position and the turnovers the Eagles had in the first half, it could have literally been 42, 47 to 3. I mean, that's how badly the Raiders have been beaten today. Rosex trying for point. 31-3. Cunningham said, don't score them all today. <laughs> Package up a couple of those scores for Green Bay. If you could see inside your suitcase when you travel, you'd see how Samsonite hard side protects what's inside. Because Samsonite has a crush-resistant outer shell and a durable hard side construction that's designed to hold up over the long haul. Samsonite hard side. After all, you've got your life in there. Jim McMahon. We're talking about the rebel with a cause with the Bears in their Super Bowl year. And remember the headbands yes. and Roselle? Even it, he took it right to the top. Absolutely. He, he took it to Ditka. He took it to Roselle. He's uh, he doesn't. He says, "What do I need to watch film for? That's not what you see in a game. I get an idea. I know what the game plan is." They say he has a photographic mind that he just remembers everything he sees. But he does. While everyone else is watching film of games at home to study opponents, he goes to the movie house because he loves the cinema and he likes Jack Nicholson. That figures that. Thing. Yes, Th those two could probably <laughs> entertain each other for months. Said he had a chance to play with Jack Nicholson, and Nicholson had to cancel one time. The one round of golf he was so looking forward to, to get to know Jack Nicholson personally. Here's Rosek's kick. Alexander Wright won't return this one. Key college game on NBC Saturday next, and it'll pit two of the game's top coaches, Lou Holtz. He needs a win against Joe Paterno, the Nittany Lions, and the Fighting Irish next Saturday at 1 o'clock. Notre Dame with one loss to Stanford. Am I correct? And a tie with Michigan. I, I'm sorry, Dick. Am I correct? This is the last time in a regular season Penn State and Notre Dame will meet. Penn well, State's in the near future. The Big Ten. Yeah, right, in the near future. So this uh, will uh, call up a lot of members. Absolutely. Sure. sure. The look on Lot's face is, you know, how, how can this happen? How can we be so ineffective? Underneath of Andrew Glover, who earns a tough five yards, John Booty with a tackle. And uh, Schrader going in a no huddle offense with a 5.30 to go and looking at least for something uh, cosmetic. The Eagles will be six and three, but still trail Dallas. By two full games, the Cowboys winning big today. Minnesota top the Central winning easily today. We'll see them next week against Houston. It's New Orleans winning big, so pressure on San Francisco for a victory to hold a, a share of the Western lead. 
Miami winning big. So Buffalo, as they uh, host the Steelers, needs a win there to stay even with the Dolphins. Uh, second half of our doubleheader carries a lot of important uh, implications, and of course, all the other scores. And Bob and the crew back in New York will keep you abreast of all the highlights and scores. So stay with us. McElroy. Well, how about and that? Clyde Simmons actually has the ball, and it's Simmons that took it away from McElroy at the last minute. I mean, it's it's 31 to three. Reggie White is still coming on the pass rush. Right side of the screen goes around McElroy, through him. That's the ball out of the hand of Jay Schrader. And there's. 5:02 to go in a game, 31 to three. And boy, you're right, Clyde Simmons. McElroy missed it. Clyde Simmons, right on that football. Boy. Five turnovers today by the Raiders. Both teams treated that fumble like the ball was contaminated. <laughs> you check the other scores, and the rich getting richer today in the NFL. Miami has made it official a shutout of the Colts, getting revenge from the Colts win two weeks ago down in the South Florida. That's the big surprise of the day. Minnesota has beaten Tampa Bay. Marshall Walker going to the 10 yard line. Good gravy. Did you see Nolan Harrison get hit by Herschel Walker? He got another shot right on that glass jaw. I'm look at it. Look at it. He, he's where am I? Uh, this is a good game to forget. If you're going to get knocked out of a game, this is one that you don't like it. <laughs> there, see, you yeah. always come up with something positive. Absolutely. I admire that in you. Watch this. 74. Kiss. I'm out of here. Yes, just put me in with the uniforms, cleats, and shoulder pads. I had forgotten this weekend. Get me back to the left coast. <laughs> the left coast. <laughs> Sixty five thousand three eighty eight partisan Eagle fans and this was an important win for this franchise and they won those first four and were so successful on Monday night in their fourth straight win against the Cowboys Super Bowl talk was uh, free around the city of brotherly love and they lose three out of four and they change quarterbacks and after today everything will seem uh, very rosy. Washington State is daddy uh, still the pharmacist there in Pullman Washington glad to be a part of a team like this too well, this, this kid has bounced around a lot was at Indianapolis and lost every week for years and years and years and ten years went to the Jets uh, yeah plan B and they released him and now he's with uh, certainly a team that's going to be in the playoffs and and a lot of people here in Philadelphia, and rightly so, I think that this is a Super Bowl contending team. He's one guy that doesn't miss Keith Jackson. Yes. That opened up the opportunity for him. Man oh. hit by his own man as he tried to throw the ball. And boy, you don't expect a blind side there. Herschel Walker on a miscommunication and and Walker smiling because McMahon may have swallowed his uh, the stuff he chews. <laughs> Dick described this from that's the hardest hit he's had all day. And it's his old guy. He lifts off the field. Randall Cunningham uh, saying, no, nah, no, nah, you're not going to make me put on the helmet now. <laughs> he's warming up. Look at it. I, I've got to feel just judging McMahon trying to wipe away a sneer that the, the when they put out the NFL injury report questionable swallowed and cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know the one thing I like about McMahon when you talk to him if you don't stop him he'll tell you Ditka stories until all your time is gone. He loves talking about Mike now I got a smile on his face. Uh, I imagine he might say something to Herschel when he gets to the say, huddle. Say, Herschel, I know you're a friend of Randall Cunningham, but come on, that right out in the open like that, isn't that a bit obvious? 
There's Herschel. Oh, if you only could have a microphone yes. there now. Yes. Reading lips. He told us about decades. Say, Dick could send in a play, and he said, "Fellas, don't even look at the sidelines. I'm changing the play." And he said, "Before we broke, yeah, got the snap. Dick knew we were in the wrong formation. You could hear him swearing from the sidelines. Even, even in the Metrodome, where it gets so noisy, you can still hear him." Fields his way on fourth down inside the 10, but did not make the first down, I don't believe. I know you're waiting for this, Bob. I know you're really waiting. What? 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 Tonight, a special two hour all new Secret Service starting at 7, 6 Central, based actually on an actual case the plot to kill the president. Uh, Apparently crashing a jet airplane into the White House was the scheme. Then the network television premiere of the box office hit the hard way. Stars Michael J. Fox, James Woods team up in an action thriller tonight on NBC. Kind of like Enberg and Trumpy in this action thriller from uh, <laughs> the Philadelphia. <hard> way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. So let's ask Rich, Richie Cunningham. Do, do we agree your starting quarterback next week is Randall Cunningham? No question. Oh, sure. they, you know, in many ways it was, you know, we make too much out of the whole quarterback thing. And hey, what's wrong with the coach saying you're you're a star, but you're not playing very well? I'll just give you a weekend. Reggie White meets Marcus Allen. And you can't tell White that they're ahead 31 to 3, and there's only four minutes to go. He's still doing what he enjoys best. Well, uh, this is this is almost criminal. <laughs> I mean, the offense today for the Los Angeles Raiders has done little or nothing, and it's all because of the quality of the Philadelphia Eagles defense. Marcus on the sideline, a very comfortable spot playing these guys in green. Schrader. His pass intercepted by... <laughs> One of the men. Uh... <laughs> no, that was, that's a Raider fan. It was intercepted <laughs> by an Eagle police officer who's still running. Now that guy's dressed to go to work, isn't he? That's a uh, serious costume. Boy, this is a. It's a terrific sports city, Philadelphia. I mean, it doesn't matter. The Phillies are the. Flyers or these Eagles. I mean, they take. It's a big city, but it takes its uh, professional sports uh, with the seriousness of a college town. Underneath, and you know they they don't want to just win. I mean, they really want it to be 100 to nothing if, no uh, if you can do it. That's nope. that's who stays here now. Yeah, they take it personally here too. I mean. Mike Schmidt has had to come out when he played with the Philadelphia Phillies. He's had to come out with a wig on when, when he says something about the Philadelphia fans. They say they'll boo Santa Claus in Philadelphia. These are personal. Well, may, maybe not him, but these these people take sports in Philadelphia personally. They go out to the big parks on the Easter egg hunt and boo the kids who don't find any. <laughs> Total offense for the Raiders: 81 passing, 66 running, and Nick Bell. The young man from Iowa finally gets a chance, and many wonder why doesn't he play more, including Nick Bell, and he'll get that run plus 15 on a late hit. Well, they got him in there not, not a moment too soon either, right, to be a factor in this game, isn't they? Nick Bell is 253 pounds. Second year man from Iowa. His average this year, 5.7 a carry. That includes a 66 yard touchdown run against Seattle. He gets 24 on his first attempt today. Now, if there's any controversy, it's over the running backs. I mean, is Eric Dickerson really the man to run the ball for the Raiders? I think that question needs to be asked. It's not answered yet, that's for Personal sure. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, a late hit out of bounds, number 38 on the defense. 15 yards will be tacked on to the end of the play. First down. Here you see the end of the run. That's Eric Allen trying to get that big fella out of bounds. And Not then the hit. There's no question about that. I asked Al Davis after the Raiders won their first game of the year, beat the Giants, they were one and four. I said, are you too old? You're the oldest team in the league. Are you too old? He said, I'll know at the bye week. The bye week was last week. I'll, I'll tell you. And yesterday said, I'm not sure yet at three and five. 
sitting at three and six. And Nick Bell tells us last night in the conversation we're sitting here, and he said, six weeks ago, this was a job. I was not enjoying myself. I had to sit down and talk with Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott said to me, look, if you're only going to get three carries a game, make all three carries like they're in the Super Bowl. And he said, it revived me. But why are these players psychologically in this situation? First down for the Raiders inside the 15, the throw to Willie Gartz. And goal two will be remembered on this day for starting things in the wrong direction for the Raiders by muffing a reception that went to the arms of a uh, eager eagle. And Andy Harmon's been into uh, some uh, little push and shove for the last two plays. Harmon, the second-year defensive tackle from Kent State, and that's Todd Pete, who is big at 305, but not nearly as big as he was uh, seven, eight months ago when he was close to 400 pounds. And he and uh, Herman said, hey, Ross Perot, I mean, I, I thought he was there. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think uh, Todd Pete is a little heavier than 305. He's uh, replacing Max Montoya. Yeah, continuing call. action fouls after the play is over. Number 64 for Los Angeles Raiders is ejected. Number 91 for Philadelphia is ejected. The result of the play is a second down at the uh, six yard line. Geez, if they throw them out, there might be fights all over the place here for get both these teams players on the bench. So the Browns have upset the Houston Oilers. That's amazing in the Astrodome. That's shocking. Now the Cleveland Browns go five and four. It's very much a part of the Central Division race. 2:20 left in uh, this game that uh, has now boiled down to just uh, some emotional phrase. Harmon. He looks like an Andy Harmon, doesn't he? Yes. From Centerville, Ohio. Only has the look of a defensive tackle. Don't go wandering away just because this game's been lopsided. We've got some more coming for you in Pittsburgh and Buffalo. Figures to be a test of uh, some of the elite of the AFC. Who will come out of that 7 and 2? The Chargers in Kansas City, Jets in Denver to follow here on NBC. Listen to these fans. They don't want the Raiders to score a touchdown. Tim Harmon. Tim Brown from Jay Schrader and Seth Joyner out there to cover. It'll bring up third down. Two to go for a first down from the six yard line. I don't think there's any question that Jay Schrader will be back on the bench next week just as you mentioned earlier. It's interesting that the quarterbacks that have played the majority of these games for their respective teams today will not start next week. Marinovich in the Cape. Quarterbacks, excuse me, Bob, are 13 for 36. You think about the Raiders, you think about passing, execution, big plays. I mean, this has been most disappointing for Raider fans. Inside goes the big guy, Nick Bell, and he shoved all the way back to the seven. They're going to mark it uh, progress at the six yard line as we come to the two minute timeout. Will Archell's Raiders score against the Eagles? Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Art historians will tell you it isn't unusual for a masterpiece to have been painted directly on top of another equally impressive painting, which itself was often painted on top of a third. This masterpiece, however, is the result of an exclusive 23-step paint process, the Acura Legend. Our intention was not merely to create a thing of beauty, but to create one that will stand the test of time. 
Nipper and Chipper show us what the RCA home theater with SRS sound looks like. Now they show us what it feels like. Looks like. Feels like. Looks like. Feels like. Any questions? It's 30 below, you've got a cold cough, you've got a real problem. We've added the leading cough suppressant to the proven cold relief of Alka-Seltzer Plus. I have no sneezes, no coughs, no runny nose. I took Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough this morning. Alka-Seltzer Plus cold and cough, it's tough medicine. This high performance drink cleans your fuel system to help maintain peak performance. STP gas treatment, the high performance drink for your car. Here's Al Davis. This might be a record. It's the latest Al Davis has ever had his close-up on an NBC telecast. <laughs> <laughs> That's only because we couldn't find it. We weren't exactly sure where he was sitting. The Raiders are the only offense in the league not completing more than 50% of their passes. 58% is the average. And today they're 13 for 36. And you know, Al Davis will tell you, we've never been interested in the high completion percentage passer. We want to stretch the defense. Fourth down and two. For those who are left in Veterans Stadium, this is the big play. Schrader. Touchdown, Tim Brown. And Schrader took a big hit just as he released the ball. And another fight breaks up. And the Eagles mad at the Raiders, and the Raiders uh, react. These are two teams uh, known for their aggressive play, and the Eagles uh, chatted about that before the game. Said, "Hey, we we got to be uh, abusive, intimidating. That's uh, the game. Is what did Seth Turner say? This is not a game for for good guys. For good guys. This is a game good for boys. bad guys." So the touchdown, Schrader to Tim Brown comes. At the 155 mark in the final quarter. You know, Dick, it, well, I'll get to it in a minute after the extra point here. Gossett, the punter holding for Jager. <laughs> 31 to 10. Had to release the ball on that touchdown throw. Well, could didn't have a fraction left. Here comes the pressure up the middle from Evans. Nobody touches him. Nick Bell goes to the outside. He's not able to get a lot of steam on it, but Tim Brown does make the catch for the lone touchdown of the day by the Los Angeles Raiders to this point. I, I was about to comment. It, it does not look like to me, we have seen the Raiders now, what, four times this season? I don't know what they can do this year for the remainder of this year to make this football team better. I honestly don't. I mean, it's not like you can go to a backup, go to a backup quarterback, go to a new formation. I mean, Archell has tried all kinds of things to get more out of this football team. The only thing he could do is, is start Nick Bell, say, hey, I'll go with the youngster, make him the man, that's our future, and see what he can do. But that, you know, that that's not exactly, that's trying to throw one, uh, bag of sand in front of a riptide. Unfortunately, I think one of Archell's big problems is he's not in a position to make that choice. It's not just what Archell thinks on this football team. It's created a lot of controversy. It's created a lot of uh, misimpression, misinformation. What are you saying? That Al Davis makes a lot of decisions on this team, whether Art Shell likes them or not. But you ask Al Davis that, and I have. He says, I am not the coach of the team. There's the coach. Art Shell's the coach of the team. Well, I'm just the manager, the owner-manager. 
I, to the partner. Uh, I've heard Art Shell say that to us. I, you, we've been in meetings where I've asked Art Shell, but Al Davis has his fingerprint on every single move Art Shell makes. I don't think Art makes it without his, his, his approval. Well, but if that's the case, you'd have to say the same thing about Tom Flores and John Madden as the coaches, very successful coaches, that Al Davis had to have just as much a hand then, right? Uh, yes, onside kick coming by the Los Angeles Raiders. And it goes out of bounds at the 35 yard line. And that's where they'll play. Anything more on Al Davis? No, the show? I, I think that's the I think that's a problem on this football team. And Al Davis, 25 years ago, uh, made an awful lot of very good decisions. There's no question about that. But I have a feeling that some of the decisions he's had made are like made later, like sticking with players like Eric Dickerson, like Mark Wilson. They've hurt this franchise. They've not hit. This is not the Raider team that we saw in the 70s and early 80s, where they would just come to the line of scrimmage and they may lose 31 to 10. But you go home bruised, beaten, and bloody. They don't beat anybody up at the line of scrimmage anymore like they used to. And Art Shell was one of the most aggressive, physical football players the Los Angeles Raiders have ever had. I don't like the direction the Raiders are going. Whether Al Davis has anything to do with it or not, it's not healthy. Well, they'll go home three and six, and. Uh... Perhaps it'll be the media on the West Coast that will have all the big stories next week. We'll see what happens. You're not running for office, are you? I mean, I just want to see what you... No, two, two weeks ago, I made my last trip to Los Angeles for about the next <laughs> eight years, so... No, that's not true. All right, the onside kick again. This one goes out of bounds, so this time they'll play it at the 35-yard line. <laughs> Great idea, though. Terrific idea. Executive producer of NBC Sports is Terry O'Neill, the coordinating producer of NBC Football and the producer of today's game, John Faratzis. This game directed by John Gonzalez, associate director Al Szymanski, Ed Fibishoff, the production associate, production manager Susan Stone. Keith Shamahorn is our technical manager and Mitch Keller, technical director. And the rest of the men and women who brought you our coverage from the vet in Philadelphia. Now into November and uh, this 1992 season sorting itself out. Uh, there are some pretenders being identified. Yeah, and contenders too, uh, like the Eagles are now 5-0 and oh at home. In 1992, Jim McMahon will watch Randall Cunningham start and play next week against Green Bay. Chance to thank those in the booth today, Rush Schneiderman, Keith Gallagher, Mike McKay. We've got back-to-back uh, -back out, uh, out of bounds onside kicks being discussed here by our free white. Well, the first one went out of bounds, and uh, I figured that since you kicked the ball out of bounds would have been at the 35 yard line. And uh, those are the Raiders booing. They said, We got a plane to catch here. The illegal formation on a kickoff. Well, this game is complete. Nothing else can happen here. <laughs> We're done. We have one minute and 55 seconds remaining. The Eagles have... Personal foul on the kicking team. Personal foul number 25. That penalty is declined. We have a kickoff out of bounds, which went greater than 30 yards. And by rule, they're entitled to the ball 30 yards from where it was kicked. They have elected to take the result of the play first down. Wait, wait a minute, and then they give you the ball at the 25-yard line when if you kick the ball out of bounds in the first place, you get it at the 35, plus the team that kicked the ball committed a personal foul, unless uh, the foul was against the Eagles. 
Oh, I see. They kicked the ball from the 50 yard line because of the original foul. And so you have the 30 yards, make the 20. You makes sense, it out. makes sense to me, Dick. <laughs> you makes figure sense it out. to me. Who cares? That's up to McMahon and the Eagles to run out the clock. He's Sherman. He's been a key part of this game, a 30 yard touchdown run, but the Hager wrinkle free cotton super play of the game was this touchdown pass from McMahon to Fred Barnett that took the Eagles to a 17 3 just lead just before halftime. Perfect articulation between the thrower and the receiver. Against the defense, a coverage that's designed for one thing stop that pass. The go pattern straight up the field. Eddie Anderson did not get over on the coverage. Brett Barnett's fifth touchdown reception of the year. He's a, certainly a free spirit from Gunnison, Mississippi. 702 population. Sherman. Running like a tank. And falls on his fumble after the first down out across the 30-yard line. 12 more yards for Heath Sherman is going to match his total of the first eight games of the season today. 81 today, 86 for the year. Pittsburgh, Buffalo, San Diego, Kansas City, the Jets in Denver are next on our doubleheader coverage on NBC. Stay with us. And, of course, all the crew back at NFL Live in New York will have the top scores and highlights for you. The only drama left in this football game, Dick, is once this game is over and Rich Kotite gets to the press room, how long will it take for somebody to ask, who's your starting quarterback next week? Second question. Second? The What's second the question. Won't be, well, the first will just be, you know, how'd you like the day? Nice win. And then they'll ask him the question. Randall Cunningham, Rich Kotite, I mean, all the right signs are there. They've won. That eases any pressure. McMahon was okay, but it wasn't brilliant. It was the defense that won this game for the Philadelphia Eagles. 31 to 10. The Eagles 6-3, and three, the Raiders 3-6. and six. For Bob Trumpy, Dick Enberg, so long from Veterans Stadium, Philadelphia.